Today is the third day of your induction program. I hope you all all are enjoying this program. So without wasting time, let's start today's session of induction program. Let's welcome our today's chief guest, Dr. Uh, Yask Shinde sir. I feel extremely honored to introduce the guest, Dr. Shinde sir. He is working in computer department in this uh, in this institute as a HOD. See, he has a uh, 
15 years of experience as a HOD. He is a PhD recognized guiding PhD and PG students a research scholars. He also published various research papers in international and national journal. He had also handled various key responsibilities like uh, Bosch Chairman, HOD, NAC Coordinator, NBA. Also, he is a convener of national conference, workshop, seminars, and FDP also. He also <coughs> handled chairman responsibility for paper setting. He uh, sir also present computer science and engineering program for NBA accreditation and also CSC program is NBA accreditation for three years in Anna Sahib College, Dange College Institute of Engineering and Technology. Sir has a research area of interest in artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, and software engineering. Such a great personality is uh, present today for this uh, extremely or most important session. So now I would like to uh, call today's chief guest to share his valuable knowledge to with us. Please, sir. Good morning, respected uh, principals, sir, Dr. R.S. Bichkar, first year coordinator, Dr. Anil Urekar, sir, all deans, faculty members, all HODs, parents, and dear students. I heartily welcome all first year students in Vidya Pratishtan, Kamal Layan, Bajaj College of Engineering, Baramati. I will give you overview regarding computer engineering department. Our uh, department, computer engineering has a vision. Also, our institute has a vision and mission. In our institute vision is to achieve academic excellence through persistent synergetic collaborations amongst all stakeholders. Sarva Bhagadharakancha Satatya Purna Sahyogi Prayatnane Shakshani Kshatra Utkashtata Prapt Karne. This is the vision of our PPKBIT Baramati. Also, our department, Computer Engineering, has a vision to achieve excellence in field of computer engineering with consistent and collaborative efforts of every individual. Manjais Sarvancha Satatya Purna Sahyogi Prayatnane Sanganak Abhiyantriki Kshatrat we are achieving this vision of the department with the help of mission statement to develop students with fundamental advanced tools and technologies to work as a skilled computer professionals with ethical values to promote faculties for higher education and expose them to current trends to enrich quality, educational quality, to provide appropriate environment with required resources to achieve academic excellence, to provide hand-in-hand -hand relations with industries for creating institute industry needs, to apply collaborative efforts to make students competent to provide solutions to societal problems, now, our program has different 12 program outcomes. These outcomes are related to engineering knowledge, problem analysis, design and development of the solutions, conduct investigation of complex problems, modern tool usage, engineer and society, ethics, individual and teamwork, communication, project management and finance, and lifelong learning. With these 12 pivots, we have program specific outcomes, which are related to professional skills, problem solving skills, and successful career and entrepreneurships. Our students will achieve these 
12 POs and 3 PSO from the first year to final year of the graduation. Then our computer engineering program has educational ob objectives that will include student will be able to apply the fundamental domain knowledge and modern technology of computer engineer to analyze, design, and implement effective solutions to the engineering problem. Student will be able to identify the needs of society and deals with the professional ethics, sense of responsibilities, understanding of legal, safety, health, cultural, and environmental issues. Our third POs, student will be motivated for lifelong learning, an investigative approach, multidisciplinary thinking, and competitive exams. Our fourth PO is, is student will be able to achieve successful career in different roles and responsibilities. Then student will be nurtured for strong manage, managerial and communication skill to work as an individual and team member. These POs will be achieved in three to four years after completion of their graduations. Now we see the, in, in computer engineering department, we are running different programs. Our program, BE Computer Engineering, which is, which is started in year 2000 with intake capacity of 60 students. Or this program is permanently affiliated with Savitribai Phule, Pune University, also, from this year, we have started BE, AI, and DS degree with intake capacity of 60 students. Also, in our department, we have a PG program in artificial intelligence and data science. This will be started from the next year with intake capacity of 80 students. Also, in our college, we have a PG DRP program, which is associated with College of Engineering Pune. And this program is started from the year 2020-20, that is from the current year, and intake capacity of this program is 30 students. Along with these programs from the academic year 2021, we have started honor and minor degree courses in our institute. We have started AI and machine learning, data science, internet of things, virtual and augmented reality, and cybersecurity. These programs, we, our students can conduct these programs or they can register for this program from the third year of engineering. That means our student will get minor and honor degree in, along with their regular degree now regarding infrastructure of computer engineering program, we have three classrooms equipped with LCD projectors. We have laboratory, seven laboratories, one tutorial room, one seminar hall. Total 140 computers are present in the department and we have separate department library. Now regarding department library, in our institute library, we have total 5,654 volumes. And in department, we have 156 volumes. Regarding titles in our institute library, we have 2,264 titles in the institute library. And in department library, we have total 156 titles. Total titles, in the department library are 156 and total titles or total volumes in the department are in the institute library are 5665 also we have a journals related to computer engineering for our computer engineering students we have ieee explorer digital library then we have digit pc quiz journal then we have Indian Journal of Computer, Computational Science and Technology. Then we have International Journal of Data Analysis, Information System, International Journal of Information Retrieval, 
then we have international journal of image processing applications international journal of data mining warehouse then journal of web engineering and technology journal of software engineering journal international journal of advanced computer engineering all these are uh, these students uh, all these journal will be available for the students and faculty also regarding our faculty strength in our department we have total 19 faculties out of 19 faculty three faculties have completed their phd degree and five faculty are pursuing their phd degree and 11 faculty we have with mem tech qualification myself dr santaji shinde dr chaitanya kulkarni and dr hansa te have completed their phd degree i have completed my b me and phd in computer engineering regarding uh, faculty in our department dr dinesh hansate he has he working as a associate professor also he is handling responsibility of dean triple ic he has completed his phd degree and his area of interest is machine learning and software engineering our third professor dr chaitanya kulkarni he is working as associate professor he has completed phd degree and his area of interest is machine learning and software engineering mrs gankamal chajat is working as assistant professor she is handling responsibility of nba coordinator and rnd coordinator she is pursuing her phd degree her area of interest is technography water making and image processing mrs sushma nandgaukar madam she is working as assistant professor she has completed mtech degree she handling the she is handling the responsibility of associate dean academic and dean uh, academic coordinator of the department her area of interest is information retrieval data mining and machine learning mr dibang uh, digambar padulkar is working as assistant professor he has completed mtech degree his area of interest is data mining and machine learning he is working as coordinator for the minor and honor degree programs regarding rajaram ambole is working as assistant professor he has completed ma degree his area of interest is compiler design data mining uh, mr rajaram ambole we have deputed for sap program pgdrp then mr manoj shelar is working as assistant professor he is pursuing his phd degree he is working as coordinator timetable in charge coordinator at the institute level his area of interest is security image and video processing mr rajaram pancha working as assistant professor he has completed mtech degree his area of interest is computer vision and image processing mr pradeep petane is working as assistant professor he is pursuing his phd degree and his area of interest is image processing and computer network mr venkatesh rampur rampurkar is working as assistant professor he has completed his me degree his area of interest is data mining and application also he is working as sesa coordinator that is association of computer engineering students then mr sahil shah is assistant professor he is pursuing his phd degree his area of interest is information retrieval web mining machine learning he is working as exam coordinator of the department then our next faculty mukesh ramdal working as assistant professor he has completed me degree his area of interest is net computer networking image processing then 
Mrs. Pallavi Jawalkar. He is working as assistant professor. He has come. Uh, she has completed M.E. degree, and her area of interest is computer networking, image processing. Mr. Srikant Dage is working as assistant professor. He has completed his M.Tech degree, and his area of interest is data mining and cloud computing. Mr. Suraj Bhote, working as assistant professor. He has completed M.Tech degree, and his area of interest is data mining, machine learning. Mrs. Priyanka Malve. She is working as assistant professor. She has completed M.E. degree, and her area of interest is image processing and artificial intelligence. Our two faculties, Mr. Prashant Raut and Nutan Phalke, they are deputed for the. First year faculty, Mr. Prashant Rao, working as assistant professor, he has completed M.E. degree. His area of interest is information retrieval and cloud computing. Mrs. Nutan Phalke, working as assistant professor, he has completed M.E. degree, and her area of interest is cyber security. Then. our supporting staff mr sachin war is system admin he has completed diploma in computer engineering also he has completed ccna msc certification and his area of interest is networking mr sachin gopali zarkat is working as computer operator diploma in computer engineering area he is Uh, her area is computer networking and maintenance mr vaibhav bosle is working as computer working as computer operator and his area of interest is computer network and maintenance he has completed microsoft certified system admin Mr. Mangesh Khandale is working as department assistant. In our department, we have focus groups, which includes database management system, data structure, software engineering, cloud computing, AI, machine learning, and data science. Along with this, we have different. professional membership in our department we have professional membership of computer society of india then indian society for technical education under this csi iscit ist and sesa we are organizing different events for overall development of the students regarding department laboratories we have total seven laboratories in the department which includes database system laboratory programming computing laboratory advanced network laboratory operating system laboratory project laboratory programming laboratory and pg laboratory these are the some glimpses of our computer engineering laboratories regarding configuration of machines in the laboratory we have total 140 machines regarding configuration dell optiplex then intel processor with ram 8 gb and hard disk 500 gb also along with these machines we have special hardware bigel bone kit we have in the lab also with bigel bone we have nvidia graphics card regarding our university results our university results are always very good for sc t and b our results are around 100% we see the result year wise in year 2017 our sc result is 98.61% and for t and b our result is 100% regarding the results of 2018 exam 
our S, E, T, and B results are hundred percent. In year two thousand nineteen exam, our S, E, and T results are hundred percent, and B is result is ninety eight point four percent. In year two thousand twenty twenty, our S, E, T, and B results are hundred percent, and our most of the students are placed in first class with distinction and first class. our department results are always very good regarding second year topper in may 2020 exam mane son dattatre is a first topper of the second uh, second year students and he got 9.66 cgpa percent cgpa then gurav vaishnavi rajendra he is the second topper of the department and her uh, cgpa score is 9.52 pardeshi mansi gokul singh he is the third topper of second year students and her score is 9.42 regarding third year topper students we have fulari anuj namdev he got cgpa score of 9.74 जाधव कोमल रामचंद्र शी इज सेकंड टॉपर एंड हर स्कोर इज नाइन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सी जी पी ए भोलभ शिवानी संजय हर स्कोर इज एट पॉइंट नाइन एट नाउ वी सी द टॉपर ऑफ फाइनल इयर स्टूडेंट्स आवर फर्स्ट टॉपर इज Mandre Somnath Bapu with CGPA score nine point two one, Barge Anjali Anil with CGPA nine point one five, then Sangar Abhishek Prabhakar CGPA score is nine point one two. Now we go to the department topper. Now Anuj Phulari is the department topper for the last year with. Score nine point seven four. Then Maneshon is the second topper of the department with score nine point six six. Gurav Vaishnavi Rajendra is the third topper of the department and score is nine point five two. Regarding placement of the department, in our college we have training and placement officer, Mr. Vishal Kore, and with his guidance, we are doing the tra training and placement programs in our department. In year nineteen twenty, our total forty student, forty two students are placed in various companies like TCS, Infosys, Extensia, Recor, Aryas Lab, Zensor, N Sigma. Citrus Tech, Cognizant, IBM, IBM, and Bitwise. For the year eighteen nineteen, our fifty students are placed in various companies, which includes Infosys, Bipro, TCS, L&T, Emphasis, Extensia, Recor, Raja Software Lab, Zensar, N Sigma, Oda Phone, and Intel. In seventeen eighteen. Our forty-four students are placed in various companies like KPIT, TCS. Then in sixteen seventeen, our forty-four students are placed in various companies, which includes Recor, Genius Minds, Extensia. Average in our department, minimum package got by the students is three point five lakh per annum, and maximum package. Got six lakh rupees per annum. Now we see the company-wise placement in 1920. Our total 11 students are placed in TCS. Seven students are placed in Infosys. Sankey in Sankey Software. Our one student is placed in IBM, and in Mindstick Software. Our one student is placed. In Raja Software Lab, 
and FIS Global, our two students are placed, ATOS Intel and Enzigma Software, our five students are placed. In Vipro, our one student is placed, Cognizant, three students placed, Citrus Tech and Bitwise, one student are placed. This, this is regarding placement of the department regarding skill development in our department. We are organizing different types of activities for skill development of our students. Our department motivate and guide students for NPTEL courses, Coursera, Udemy, EDX, MATLAB, C, C++, Java programming. Also, we are guiding for the Python programming regarding completion of the program programs. Our department has completed 255 NPTEL courses, three Udemy courses, then 25 MATLAB courses, C, C++, Java, total 150 courses has completed. Regarding Coursera courses, our uh, in our department, 400 courses are completed. Then in EDX courses, 150 courses are completed in our department. Then regarding total NPTEL certification and uh, achievements, our 13 students got gold certification at the NPTEL and 23 students got elite silver certification with score from 75% to 89% and 13 students score is about 90%. Our 130 students are placed in Elite and Pass. In our department, we have completed this type of courses, one total 166 courses regarding NPTEL toppers. Mr. Anuj Pilari is topper in all India level in NPTEL exam. In courses, discrete mathematics, programming in C++, Java of computing, joy of computing, then programming in Java. Then Mr. Rahul Hasule is complete, he's got 99% score at NPTEL exam in course, joy of, uh, in course, joy of computing using Python. Then Dipti Gandhi got 96% score in programming in Java. Mahesh Patil with score, uh, Score is 95% in programming in Java. Then in our department, Ms. Anjali Barge got 94% marks in introduction to IOT. And in programming in Java, our students, Vaibhav Gaure, Apurva Jagtap, Sopnali Jagdani, and Swati Avale got the score more than 90%. All these exams are conducted at the All India level and our students got the topper certification and uh, topper certification and gold certification in this All India level exams. Regarding scholarships, we have a pre scholarship where concession in tuition fee and examination fee for the SC, ST, NT and OBC student will get. Then we have Rajasri Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj re reimbursement scheme. Then we have Dr. Punjab Rao Deshimu Hostel Maintenance Allowance scheme. Then we have Power Charitable Trust Scholarship. In that, for support is given for the economically weaker students. Then we have Cummins National Scholarship, which is based on the merit of the students. Also in our institute, we have a earn and learn scheme, which will be benefited for the needy students. In uh, Cummings National Scholarship, our total nine students got the scholarship in year 2015, 16 and 18. Regarding student achievements, our students are achieving their excellence in various activities. Our students got topper at all India level exams in NPTEL. 
our students anuj pulare anjali barge rahul hasule sopnil jagdade dipti gandhi mahesh patil and sonali parab got topper and gold certification in nptel exam which is conducted at the all india level also our anuj pulare got second prize at atal incubation center then vaibhav pawar his team is selected for participation at smart india hackathon in year 2017 akshay shrike got first rank in it olympiad which is conducted at the government college of engineering pune then rushikesh pandit vaibhav pawar sarthak doshi they got second prize in android app development in iit roorkee in year 2016 kranti ingle he got academic excellence award in education summit pune in year 2013 regarding our post graduate students our post graduate students got best paper award best research award then first prize in various competitions which includes best paper award in c physicon in year 2018 this prize is won by harshada badwe along with this prize she got best research award in post c physicon conference yuvraj patil team participated in smart hackathon in year 2017 Sopnil Tawre got first rank in Software Engineering CPG Con 16. Eshoda Sakre got best paper award in CPG Con. Mehtre got best paper award in same conference. Miss Mr Sahil Shah got first prize in paper presentation in CPG Con 13. Regarding UG fellowship our students are got ug fellow fellowship in greece for two months rohan pawar amit saman and deepak kamkar they have successfully completed athens information technology greece ug fellowship in year 2018 regarding faculty achievement myself dr santaji shinde got gold certification with 90% score in nptel course on accreditation and outcome based learning mr sahil shah got gold and all india topper with 100% score in nptel course on internet of things which is conducted by iit kharagpur dr cs kulkarni he selected for aws cloud ambassador year 2020 in aws community our faculties mrs gankamal chajer mrs sushma nangavkar prashant rao rajkumar panchal and sahil shah they have qualified the great exam these are the achievements related to faculty also our faculties are publishing research paper at different uh, international and national journals regarding mou of the department our department has a department and institute has mou with iit bombay then college of engineering pune iit kharagpur aws academy tech school pune also we have mou with salesforce technology different center of excellence in our department we have center for software engineering salesforce studies center python foundations basics to advance red hat training and certification c c++ java programming announcements of aptitude announcements of technical skill cloud computing big data and hadoop these are the different centers which are present in computer engineering department and our every faculty is associated with the center and student can join these centers 
depends upon his or her area of interest now imminent talk organized in the department we are organized dr pramod patil from dy patil pimpri then we are organized talk of uttam mane vice chairman csi mumbai chapter uv kulkarni sgs nandet gb abram which is from coe p pune anandi from gs lab harold from ceo pune and we are organize this imminent talk on subjects like recent trends in computer technology audio visual workforce development data mining with fuzzy neural network virtualization technology behind cloud computing latest trends in big data and cyber security regarding projects in our department every year our projects are concerted by the different companies in year 2016 17 17 18 18 19 and 19 20 our projects are concerted by the various company which which will include ispro then extensia pune mass technology riker technology these are the some company which are got uh, our students got the sponsorship for their final year projects now regarding student association in our department we have computer engineering student association under that we are conducting different types of activities which will be helpful for student for overall development now we have conducted different activities like sales for technology then introduction to language android app development android workshop sales for technology workshop for that different students are benefited in for sales force 95 students are participated introduction to language 52 52 students are participated android app development 25 students are participated then android workshop 24 students are participated and in sales force technology 30 students are participated under this student association we are conducting technical activity as well as we are conducting for co curricular activities for the development of students in year 2015 16 we have conducted eight events then in 17 16 we have conducted two events 17 18 we have conducted six events 19 20 we have conducted eight events which includes code war dazzle coding coding buddy extempore coding post poster presentation quiz interview also we have conducted in our uh, sesa gaming activity web design activity okay these are the some activities which are conducted under computer engineering student association these are the some glimpses of the activity which are conducted under computer engineering student association now for the overall development students we also organizing every year industrial visit last year our students visited bits goa then also we are organize industry mapro industry limited by tech fest 2015 iit bombay tech fest 2014 iit bombay in this uh, way we are organizing every year industry tour which will be benefited for the students now regarding our um, imminent alumnis our uh, alumni are at different places with designation of product architect mr sachin bosle is working at sap lab india pune then our sopnil is sopnil shah is entrepreneur of entrepreneur which is working in pune then parag rane is senior engineer neeraj khandikar development architect which is working at sap lab pune then senior developer dhanasri zawale working at sintel india pune 
सीनियर डेवलपर अभिजीत कुलकर्णी वर्किंग एट सिटी बैंक डेप्यूटी चीफ ऑफिसर वर्किंग गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र मिस्टर रविन्द्र सूर्यवंशी इज द डेप्यूटी चीफ ऑफिसर देन सीपॉन वेंकटेश सीनियर सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स देन कुशल पटेल असोसिएट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इन आईबीएम इंडिया दीज आर द सम अवर इमिनेंट अल्यूमिनीज रिगार्डिंग करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ अवर बी कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स यू कैन वर्क एज different posts like you can work in a government and private sectors then you can go for the higher education like ms mtech mba etc you can work as entrepreneur you are eligible for competitive exams for upsc mpsc gate cds etc then you can work as software developer database administrator data scientist information security analyst computer network architect computer system analysis big data engineer machine learning engineer blockchain developer or you can work as blockchain engineer information system manager now our commitment is outcome based education nurture our students with latest skills project based learning industry institute interaction provide excellence in computer engineering education support our students for higher education and competitive exams placement assurance announcement of technical research and entrepreneurship skill and all around development of our school thank you wish you all the best for your future हेलो एनी स्पेशल यस सर थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग योर प्रीसियस टाइम फॉर अस स्टूडेंट्स डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज पोस्ट इन चैट बॉक्स Yes, anyone who want to ask some questions. yes the question is what about it faculty so today so tomorrow we have it separate it faculty for the it students yes sir we can stop before c can we start python before c yes yes we can start it we have a and ds branch with 60 inter capacity in future we will establish this a and ds as a separate department now registration of the nptel is going on you can register for the nptel courses
Hmm? Okay, we'll. Uh, I will give you assurance, assurance regarding your Tesla widget. Uh, now in which department AI and DS lines? In? in which department AI and DS lines? Now in computer engineering department we are conducting this AI and DS course. Which are From the fifteenth December, fifteenth February, we'll start the course in offline mode as per the guidelines from the government. Yes, we have a cyber security course. Which book will you recommend for this course? Uh, hello, sir. Uh, okay. Yes, thank you for your uh, such amazing session, uh, okay, for giving your precious time or for giving such valuable information, which is really helpful for us, or giving such uh, nice information about placements, various courses available at NPTEL EDX. Also, you give the scholarship information, which is really helpful for the students. Also, which you describe the center of excellence available in computer department, which is a uh, most important part of computer departments. So, uh, also you describe, sir, describe the career opportunities after B, which uh, students, this is very infor uh, informative information about uh, the after B. So, sir, gives very nice information or which is really helpful for us. So thank you, sir, for giving such nice information. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you, first year coordinator Anil Urekar, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Chinde, sir, thank you. Okay, sir, thank you. Uh, students, don't leave the sessions. We will start second session. Camera. Do not hold the camera. Mm -hmm. Good morning, students. Uh, today, second session will be conducted by uh, Nilesh Pandre, sir. I feel very glad to introduce Nilesh Pandre, sir, who have received his BA from Arts and Commerce College at Kalam from Pune University, Pune. He has completed MA from Vidya Pratishthan's Art, Science and Commerce College at Baramati from Pune University. He has earned his beard 
फ्रॉम विद्या प्रतिष्ठान कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन एट बारामती फ्रॉम पुणे युनिवर्सिटी हि हेज क्वालिफाइड द स्टेट एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट दैट इज सेट इन टू थाउजंड एंड फोर्टी हि वॉज अवॉर्डेड द यम फिल डिग्री इन टू थाउजंड एंड एटीन बाय शिवाजी युनिवर्सिटी कोल्हापूर ही इज परस्युईंग हिज पी एच डी ऍट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश फ्रॉम शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटी निलेश पांढरे सर हॅज सेव्हन इयर एक्सपिरियन्स ऑफ टीचिंग ऍट ग्रॅज्युएट अँड पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएट लेवल ऑल्सो निलेश पांढरे सर हॅज पब्लिश मोर दॅन थ्री रिसर्च पेपर इन नॅशनल अँड इंटरनॅशनल जनरल जर्नल्स टू हिज क्रेडिट आय रिक्वेस्ट निलेश पांढरे सर प्लीज फेलिसिटेट स्टुडंट्स ओवर टू यू सर हॅलो am i audible sir yes sir okay thank you for your kind and generous introduction of me uh, i welcome you all all the students i first i would be happy to welcome and congratulate to all the ap students who have selected their career path and their career in engineering field and i also would like to congratulate for them for choosing vpkbit as a means to fulfill their career so today uh, i would be happy to present myself on the email writing okay nowadays uh, everyone must know how to write an email right email writing has become a need of today okay no no communication in the business setting can take place without uh, email right so for that reason i thought i must introduce this email writing to you in the very first Uh, uh lecture so after uh, learning this email you will find yourself in a position to compose a very good email and also would you will feel uh, easy uh, to write an email so uh, since we know what is email when we when we Uh, uh when do we write email all these things are necessary right but before this we must know what is email and who has invented this email right email the full form of email is electronic mail is a information stored on a computer that is exchanged between two users over the telecommunication this is a general definition of an email okay email entered with limited use in 1960s but users could only send to users of the same computer and some early email systems required author and recipient to both be online simultaneously okay when was the email introduced right the email was introduced in 1960s with limitation that a sender could send a email to the person who has of the same brand computer right and and for that reason both sender and receiver requires to be online if i am offline i will not receive anybody else's email if you are offline you could not receive my email so that was the limitation before 1960s but we should say thanks and we must say thanks to ray tom tomlinson who has invented a uh, email in 1971 with all the facilities ray tomlinson is credited as inventor of email in 1971 before 1960 we ha we had seen how was how the email was limited uh, or uh, drawbacks of email right but ray tomlinson has come over this drawbacks and uh, invented a uh, a new email kind of a new facilities in the email right in the 1975 he developed the first system able to send email between users on a different host across the 
are funded the advanced research projects agency network using add direct sign to link the username with destination server you know what is add the right add the right add the right so uh, the, he is a red tomlinson who has given his uh, best to invent the email now we must know who is he right so ray tomlinson a personal we could see the personal information ray tomlinson he is american by nationality occupation by he is a computer programmer inventor and electrical engineer he is known for inventing first email system in 1971 why 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 do you think that i have inserted this three slides because we must credit the person who has invented this email and with saying uh, thanks to red tomlinson we shall start our uh, chapter called email writing right everybody wants to write an email everybody has to write an email right and one must know how to write an effective email and for that reason we must know what are the five aspects that any email should have the very first aspect that email should have is greetings second one is introduce your topic in a single sentence add details to your topic in a short paragraph add a call to action to what you need to the other person to do use an appropriate sign off okay when we start writing an email first of all we must greet the person and what are the greetings word we are going to see it very soon after that you will have to introduce your topic in a single sentence that is called subject what is the subject of email you should your subject should not be more than 8 or 10 words it should not be a long paragraph subject should be a one catchy line right uh, uh, you will see the instances of uh, subject writing in the next slide but before this just i wanted to give uh, uh, so free knowledge of this add a details to your topic in a short paragraph in the composing box what you have to write you have to write what you are writing email to the person right it means that you will have to provide the information regarding the email regarding the subject okay in the uh, what we write in the email uh, uh, body of the email what is topic and we extend the topic in body of the email right add a call to action what you need the other person to do after writing a body or composing of email you will have to make a separate paragraph in which you expect what the receiver wanted to do or what the receiver should take action on your email right suppose suppose you have written an email to your senior colleague or senior manager and you have introduced a particular issue of the company with the manager then you will expect some kind of action should be taken by that general manager and you should mention what kind of action do you expect that th that person should take you should mention in the last paragraph of the email use an appropriate sign off and how to close the email for example we close the uh, letter writing uh, in we close the letter by saying you are sincerely or thanks regards on the same way we should we are uh, we need to close an email by using appropriate sign off words okay now instead of talking other things i would directly start how to write an email first of all you will okay uh, when you will open the email window you will see send a uh, sender name of the sender to whom you want to send a message right where you could put his or her email id then cc and bcc and then you will have to put your subject up in the uh, in the composing body you will write greetings how will you greet the person you will greet the person like dear and name for example dear lena okay suppose you are composing writing an email to lena so how will you write uh, how will you greet the, that person 
by saying or writing dear lena but make sure that both the letters of each word should be in a capital or upper case d should be capital of a dear and l should be capital of a lena means two letters should be in upper case when you are right uh, when you are greeting to the someone and put a comma after that dear lena don't put a comma after dear and don't write a uh, don't mention name after that you will have to put a comma after name of the person dear lena you could see in the you could see in the slide that how i have written over there dear lena or you could say dear sir or dear madam okay this is this one also is also correct you may say dear madam dear sir or dear mr hill okay or dear mr say name a surname of the person okay or name of the person dear mr hill and after that after this greetings you could write one single sentence for example hope you are doing well hope you are doing well or hope i hope you are well or how are you these three sentences could be used in a business email why do we write this email because we when your email will be received that person that person should be in a good health hope you are doing well okay and it is a kind of wish that you are well wisher of that person the person whom you are sending email and for that reason you could write this one and all these things could be written in a only formal email okay you need not to write all this uh, you know uh, these words for the informal email suppose if you are writing an email to your friend uh, if you don't write i hope you are doing well it's okay but you must write i hope you are doing well hope you are doing well how are you when you are writing an email in a business setting when you are writing an email to your seniors okay this is the protocol that you should have to follow when you are writing a greetings of the email okay if you are composing an email to the you know, person of uh, your rank of your same age group of your friend then you could use informal or neutral greetings for example you could say you could say hello hi and name hello rina hello lena hi rina hi lena hi rahul hi raj okay in this way but but could you say uh, the same thing with your seniors no okay say hi and no greetings hello raj hi rian okay in this way you could uh, compose uh, or you could uh, put a greetings in email okay so this is the clear cut difference between formal and informal uh, uh, greetings of the email now and the next next thing is subject line actually subject lines comes above the greetings okay so how will you write a subject line for example uh, let me tell you that what is the subject line subject line is nothing but to introduce the subject or introduce what you want to say in a brief it means that it, subject line should not be extended by uh, by 10 or uh, 12 words it should be limited to 8 or 9 words only okay for example for a job application you are writing an email regarding the job application what would be your subject line what would be your subject line for you will write in a subject referred by jen brown for technical writer position okay or referred by uh, principal for the post of lecturer in this way or you could say your advertisement published in the uh, 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 indian express dated on dash 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 okay in this way you could put this subject line okay or application for the post of technical writer position and human resource assistant application john smith ha uh, suppose if you have if or you wish to write an uh, a, application for the post of assistant hra human resource assistant so this is the post which has been created in the company and you are you wish to get that post so you uh, you are writing an email to that uh, manager of that company so what would be the your subject line human resource assistant application and put your name john smith or instead of 
uh, you could use your own uh, so, let's say name also okay human resource assistant application suppose if you want to write an email regarding taking the interview follow up hmm? suppose you have uh, you had appeared for the interview your interview had finished and you are in the uh, you are waiting for the result okay result is uh, result has got late to declared okay so you are in a okay, you uh, you wish to know when the results are going to be declared okay and for that reason you will writing an email to the to that company so how will you write an email uh, what would be the subject line regarding taking a follow up follow up of your interview john smith following up on sales position you are the john smith you have the applied for the position of sales position and you want to know what is your result or if you are selected or not you want to know this and for that reason you are writing an email to the company and what would be the your email uh, sorry subject line john smith following up on sales position or marketing manager interview follow up suppose if you have given an if you have applied for an interview of marketing manager okay the interview is got has finished and you are you want, wish to know what is your position if you have whether you have got selected or you you have been rejected so for that reason in order to make an inquiry you will compose an email and your subject line would be marketing manager interview follow up okay for a meeting invitation if you want to call a meeting just i am i am introducing this subjects lines to you so that you could uh, by reading this by understanding this subject line you could frame a subject line for any subject you just go through these subject lines and you just understand um, how to compose an subject line for a meeting invitation suppose if you want to call a meeting at 3 o'clock in the evening so how will you write an e email to your uh, your uh, colleague meet up about social media strategy tuesday okay meet about uh, th this meeting is regarding social media strategy tuesday our meeting is going to be held on tuesday about thinking about the social media strategy this is a extension extended form of that short subject line free to catch up over a copy next week free to catch up over a copy next week in the next week uh, if you are free we will we will meet for the copy and this is a meeting invitation okay for marketing pitch mastering digital media webinar register today suppose if you, there is a webinar and if you want to oh, you know ask you ask the pe people all over the world or pan world to join your webinar and you you are going to compose this message or uh, you are going to compose a message for for the people who wish who wishes to join your webinar you could be your subject could be mastering digital media webinar register today okay john see how you compare to competitors this 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 is how we can uh, you know frame the subject uh, line in the next uh, in the next slide we are going to see to see what we have seen we have seen putting uh, email address the person who uh, the person who, whom we do want to send an email then you will write cc bcc in cc what is cc and what is bcc i will explain you in the next slide okay then you will write uh, greetings good morning good uh, sorry hello how are you mm, then hope you are doing well all these things and then you will put your subject line in the body of the email what you will explaining why you are writing an email how will you start writing your email you will start writing your email by saying i am writing regarding this issue we have been having about a database system okay you are looking after the database system okay and if there is a problem regarding database system you want to let this information know by your senior and you are composing email to your seniors so your first line would be i am writing regarding the issue we have been having about the database system so explaining why you are writing the email okay after greetings you will directly start the sub for subject 
about you are writing an email and why you are writing this email you should give the reason or second i wanted to follow up on our meeting last week and confirm our plans for this month okay suppose uh, uh, you want to call a meeting right your subject is uh, calling for a meeting right and what would be the uh, ex uh, explanation for this i wanted to take a follow up on our meeting last week and confirm our plans for this month in the last month we have we had a meeting and uh, we had also taken some decision and in this meeting i want to confirm the plans for this month so this is the reason why i have called a meeting so th this is this is how we can uh, you know explain why you are writing an email or if you want to write it in uh, informal way do you know when the database issues will be fixed okay see see the difference between these two two sentence i am writing regarding issues you have been having about the database systems and do you know when the database issues will be fixed suppose if you are writing an email to your uh, friend or the person who is working on the same rank in the same institute okay if you are working as a uh, as a teacher in the uh, this institute and if you want to know this information then you will draft a mail to your colleague by saying do you know when the database issues will be fixed but if you are uh, informing regarding this to your senior let's say hod right then you can't say like this do you know when the database issues will be fixed instead you will say i am writing regarding the issues we have been having about a database system you cannot ask him a question right so and uh, let's confirm the plans for this week right last month uh, we had a meeting and we want to confirm the plans for this week and if you are writing this email to the person working at the same position as like you so you will uh, uh, write email to him or her by uh, right by giving an explanation like let's confirm the plans for this week i would like to ask about the new budget and when there will be when this will affect our whether this will affect our department okay if the if the mail is regarding the budget okay and you want to know Oh, what is new budget and if this budget is going to affect our department okay so if you want to make an inquiry about the budgets and its effect on department you will uh, uh, compose your line like this i would like to ask about okay i am happy to know about i am eager to know about the new budgets and whether this will affect our department and if it is an informal and if you are asking it to your friend how will you say how will new budget affect our department you will directly raise a question to your friend do you know how will the new budget affect our departments instead of asking in a polite uh, instead of asking in a formal language you would say you would raise the questions if it is informal i am concerned about the number of sick days staff have been taking recently okay you are looking after the staff of uh, looking after the um, concerns regarding the staff working in the company or working in the let's say any educational institute and you came to know that uh, or your observation is that uh, nowadays or from the last month many staffs are uh, okay applying for the sick days uh, or applying for the leave and this is a major concern that is going to damage the productivity of the company and you as a uh you as in charge of that position you will have to inform this uh, in uh, this issue to your seniors okay so how will you uh, compose an email to your seniors i am concerned about i am concerned about i do have care about the number of sick days staff have been taking recently recently our staff has been taking sick days or leaves Uh, uh, frequently, and this is going to hamper our company's productivity and customer uh, complaint complaints. Okay, that is how we can give our explanation. 
or I need to bring something to your attention using outdated software puts us at a risk of mal malware infection and data loss. Okay, see, suppose uh, if there is a software issues and you are looking after that software uh, department. So you need to uh, put this concern to your seniors or your head of the in charge, okay? So you will write, I need to bring something to your attention using outdated software puts us at a risk of a malware infections and data loss. It means that your seniors don't want to update the software. Might be it, it might be the policy of the company that they wanted to continue with the same of software or same license of the software. Okay, there might be any a economical issue or there might be some uh, you know administrative issues, but it's your duty to let know, to bring into uh, notice to your seniors that if we continue with our outdated software, it may put risk of a malware infections and data loss. It is your moral responsibility that you should let know the senior, senior person that if you do not take an action regarding these softwares, then these softwares may hamper our data loss or it may get infected by malware. So it is your responsibility, right? And this is how you can frame your explanation why you are writing an email to, uh, why you are writing an uh, email or what, why, why you are introducing this subject to you. Now adding details to your email. Now see, we what we have seen, we have seen, uh, putting an recipient's address, CCBCC, CCNBCC has been left. I will explain it later on when we are going to take uh, instances of an email. Okay, so adding details. First of all, you have introduced the cause of why you are writing. Okay, the, uh, you have <coughs> composed that I am writing the issue we have been having about a database system. This is your See, this is your first line is you are uh, talking about why you are writing to or writing an email and then adding details to email. What, what will you add to this information that well, see you have introduced the problem called I am writing regarding the issues you we have been having about database system. Okay, you have introduced the reason why you are writing email to your uh, senior person and then you will have to extend the same subject line same uh, that uh, line in a detail for example both clients and staff have been experiencing severe problems for several days now we are unable to update records and are unable to assess information on customer interactions. This is costing us a large amount of money in both ways. Time spent on it trying to fix the problem and loss of the sales. Okay, because see, if your senior person is not interested interesting to update your software, then it's your prime responsibility to let know that person that how this how his or her ignorance is affecting our productivity. See, uh, you will provide a reason how, how the people, uh, how the work uh, employees of the company are facing the problem. For example, not uh, updating the system, uh, systems, customer interactions. Okay. And uh, because, um, you know, computer speed is also uh, get uh, less. And all these issues are raised. All these issues have been have been uh, founded founded during this uh, period. So this is how you can convince your uh, senior that how this issue is. This issue has become a major concern for us. Then I am concerned about the number of sick days staff have been taking recently. See, in the very first slide, we have taken why you are we we came to know that why you are writing an email. Then you are adding details to your that cause. So but I am concerned about the number of sick days staff have been taking recently. And how will you extend this line? Staff in the IT department. Then you will ex going to explain uh, what, which staff, which department. How many uh, you know leaves have been taken? How many leaves have been left? All this. 
staff in the IT department have taken a total of 44 six days leave so far this month. Then you will give your facts and figures. You will provide your facts and figures to the your senior. Okay, staff in the IT department have taken a total of 44 sick days so far this month compared to a total of 23 last month and just 18 for the previous month. Okay, you are comparing, you are providing facts and figure how the number of sick days, uh, sick days have been increased compared to the previous month. The month before this month were 23 and the month before that month were 18 only, okay? This is affecting productivity, putting a loss of trace on employees who do come to work. Okay, and if this happens regularly or if this keep happening uh, continuously, it will put unnecessary trace on the employees who have, who do come to work daily regularly, okay? And this is how the, our company's productive, uh, the, this will affect the productivity. Changing or adding the topic to email. Okay, if you want to change or if you want to introduce new topic to this in the same mail, how will you say? Ah, our first topic is that regarding the uh, news uh, that staff have, have been taking recently. Okay. and. With along with this issue, if you want to introduce new issue in the same mail, you will write in the next paragraph. There is one more thing I would like to discuss with you. Ah, very first thing was regarding about the staff leave, the concern, the problem of uh, 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 leaves of the staff. And the second problem, if you want to introduce, you will you would introduce the second problem with the lines like there is one more thing I would like to discuss with you or regarding. I would also like to ask you about, for example, there is one more thing I would like to discuss with you. It seems like number of customer complaints have been increasing from the last three months. But what was our first issue? Our first issue was staffs were taking leaves uh, frequently. There is an attendance issue in the college or company. And how does it affect? Next issue, guys, Santate. What is the next issue? The next issue is introduced over here is that the number of number of customer complaints have been increased from the last three months. Means from the last three months, staffs have started taking leaves frequently, and we could see that the customer complaints have been increased because there were no staff for handling, entertaining, or uh, looking after, or addressing the concerns of staff. Okay, this is how you could you could address the next issue. Adding a call to action to your email. See, we are we are uh, introducing three issues in the main body of the email. One is why you are writing email. For example, I am writing this email to let you know that the uh, staff of our company has been taking leaves, uh, have been taking leaves frequently. Second, second, you will put uh, figures and facts. In the previous month, there were 44. In the last month, uh, uh, 23. And uh, in the previous month, 18 only. And you have introduced that. What was the consequences of that? That customer scares, scares have been, uh, customer complaints have been increased. Okay. Ata, uh, after this, you will suggest, you will request to your seniors to take an action to your mail. If you are putting an issue and if your boss or if your senior doesn't take an action, so it, it, there is no use of your email there. So how will you ask your seniors to take an action to your email or mail? Please by tomorrow at latest take an action. Please arrange a meeting of all department heads by tomorrow at the latest. What is your, uh, uh, what is your opinion uh, for, regarding this issue? You will suggest your senior, your boss that you please do arrange a meeting of all departments heads by tomorrow at the latest so that we could fix the problem and we could continue our work. As a matter of urgency, 
it's, these are the phrases that we could be we, we could use when writing an email as a matter of urgency you need to contact all the clients who have been affected by this data breach means the if your boss is not interested in updating software and and because of this issue uh, most of the data have been breached most of the data data have been uh, violated or lost and this because of this data lost most of the uh, clients have been affected clients means your customers have been affected okay and their customers data has been lost okay because of company's uh, negligence so you will uh, ask your boss to take an action regarding this by saying as a matter of urgency you need to take a contacts all the clients who have been affected by this data breach means it's your re prime responsibility it's your moral duty to meet the clients to meet the customers who have been affected by this data breach or loss adding call to action or one more thing that we could uh, add our call to action by saying could you please what we can say could you please could you please talk to matt in the hr department and clarify our options on this so if this issue is regarding hr department and this hr hr department is headed by mr matt so you will ask your senior or boss that would you please talk to matt in hr department and could you and fix the position of this issue i would like you to i would like you to design a poster to inform staffs about new policies if staffs has started to take a leave has started taking leave frequently you please de uh, design a poster to inform staffs about the new policies regarding the leaves less direct i suggest that you contact all the clients who may have been affected by the data breach can i ask you to design a poster to inform staff about the new policies less direct huh? then this is just to keep you updated this doesn't require any immediate response but please keep an eye on situation if you think that situation is not worse if situation is in control so you may suggest to your senior that this is just to keep you updated i am sending this information i am writing this information in order to let you know in it is it is for your update update information or this is just to keep you updated or you may say this doesn't require any immediate response but please keep an eye on the situation if staffs have been taking leaves frequently okay if the customer customers complaints have been registered uh, frequently it doesn't going to affect our company reputation and you have uh, you have that reliance you have confidence that it, it doesn't it doesn't going to it it doesn't affect the, our company reputation so if you have that uh, uh, you know confidence you will write your boss that this doesn't require any immediate response but please keep an eye on the situation but please be uh, please be no uh, please uh, get know about the situation and uh, keep control on the situation now adding sign up to your email how what would be the sign up of your email okay uh, signing up it means uh, here you are going to finish the email this is the bottom line after that there is not there is nothing in the email uh, adding a sign up to your email for example formal if you are writing a formal email you will say regards best wishes kind regards each okay see we have seen in the greetings each letter should be capital for example uh, dear rina okay d is capital d is capital r is capital in the same format the same format is going to be uh, copy and pasted over here going to be followed over here so for um, how will you write a signing of regards r capital best wishes b and w should be capital kind regards k and r should be regard, uh, capital each letter is capital with comma okay don't forget to put a comma generally don't use your sincerely which is very formal generally in any email though it is professional email we do we are not supposed to write your sincerely which is very formal 
okay which is which is used in the letter writing okay generally it is not used in the sincerely but if you use the, this sentence you are sincerely doesn't it doesn't go it is not going to affect much but it is a email protocol that it should be avoided to use you are sincerely or if it is in formal mail you will say cheers take care regard cheers kathen raj name of the person take care raj take care kathy uh, regards raj regards kathy name of the person you just write to put over there second letter should be in a lower case with comma well, when see see the difference if you are writing formal email then both the letters of the both the words should be capital but if you are writing in informal if you are composing an informal email and if you want to write an signing of words you should use a capital letter for the first word and second word should be in a lower case okay see regards cheers kathy and raj okay take care c is a uh, small case okay open times need not to use sign off i mean if you do not use sign off words in the uh, informal letter it doesn't matter to see regards best wishes kind regards okay and this is a youtube link you may use for your uh, 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 if you want to if you if you are curious to know about much email you could uh, this uh, note this email uh, sorry youtube link and you could visit too okay see now i have taken instances of a, how to compose an email over here okay Hmm. Two. See, if you open email windows, you could see or the, you could see the windows like this. Two, the or the top two is the person or recipient whom you are writing an email. For example, Lena dot Ambani at the rate Reliance dot org. This is the email address the person to whom you are sending. Okay. CC HR. at the rate reliance.org bcc ceo at rate reliance.org what is the difference between cc and bcc see cc cc stands for carbon copy hmm? cc stands for carbon copy if you want to if you if you want a two recipient to know other important people are aware of the correspondence you just cc if you want to maintain inclusive email chain use either two or cc what is cc carbon copy it means that it means that see cc okay suppose you as a head of that department and you are writing you are writing mail to lena ambani right and uh, uh, you are putting cc hr hr okay hr in a cc it means that lena should know that hr is in the uh, you know in is in the that chain okay hr that cc person knows that the mail has been sent to the lena ambani and he will also know if the lena ambani has taken the action or not means the person mentioned in two will know that this mail is sent to the cc at hr at the rate reliance this mail has been sent to the hr and lena the both of both of them will know that the mail has been sent to each other okay cc means carbon copy the person mentioned in the cc knows that this mail has been sent to the lena and that lena also will know that the mail has been sent uh, but this hr has been kept in the cc and what is bcc blind carbon copy bcc stands for blind carbon copy unlike with cc no one but the sender can see the list of bcc recipients someone on the bcc list can see everything else including cc list and the contents of the email however bcc list is secret no one can see this list expect the sender see bcc means blind carbon copy the person who has kept in the bcc will know your will know all this communication but the person whom you have sent will will not be able to know that the, this information is shared with someone else 
that Lena will not know that this info mail has been shared with CEO of the Reliance. Okay, but the CEO of the Reliance will know that this mail has been sent to the Lena, this mail has been sent to the HR, okay. Only in the BCC, if some, uh, if, if, here we have kept CEO in the BCC, it means that you, the sender, knows only that this mail has been sent to Lena, HR and CEO. And CEO will know that this mail has been sent to Lena and HR. But Lena and HR will not know that this mail has been sent to the CEO, expect you, accept you. Let's say the letter, hmm? accept you. It means that CEO is here keeping an eye watch, keeping an bird's view, or keeping an eye on the ongoing uh, communication. Okay, this is a now subject. What is the subject regarding the password used for database access? Okay, see, you have complained that uh, uh, you want to let know your uh, that uh, Miss Miss Lena that uh, um, uh, issues regarding the password used for database access. So you, your body of email like dear Lena, hope you are doing well. Since it is a business type of email, you will uh, uh, you will provide a reason why you are writing like by putting by composing the line like this. I need to bring something to your attention. Many staffs are using a very weak password on their laptops and database access. Our work depends on the keeping our clients and personal information safe. If we lose our clients trust on this issue, it will not be easy to recover it. I trust you can see that it is better to take an action now rather than after something goes wrong. I suggest we must take a rule. We must make a rule that password must be specific length and that staff must change their password at least once in a month. Please let me know what you think about this. Signing off, regards, Vijay. Okay, body, see the body. Uh, when you are composing an email, you will introduce greetings, dear Lena, okay? D capital, L capital, after Lena, there should be comma. Then you will uh, uh, compose a, um, what I guess, a line, uh, sentence like, hope you are doing well, since it is a uh, business email. Then you will provide the reason. What was the reason? I need to bring something to your attention. Many staffs are using very weak password on their laptops and database assets. Why you are writing mail to Lena? Because you came to know that the, your, the staff working under your control are using very weak password on their laptops and database centers. This is your concern. And you are uh, sharing this concern with Lena. Okay. And Lena is going to take an action on this issue. This is the why you are writing email. Then adding adding details to your uh, what we can say a cause or uh, in the very first um, the cause why you are writing email. If you want to extend that uh, cause, you how will you extend? You will write your general observation. Our work depends on keeping our clients' personal information safe. If, if we do not keep our personal, uh, our client's personal information safe, our business will be lost. So our work depends on keeping our client's personal information safe. If we lose our client's trust on this issue, it will not be easy to recover it again. See, why this concern is major? Because, because here is a customer issue. It will not be easy to recover it. I trust you can see that it is better to take an action now rather than something goes wrong. Here you are suggesting or you are informing the informing Lena that you should take a necessary action right now. And what is the action? I suggest to take an action on your email. I suggest, I suggest to Miss Lena that she should take an action like this. I suggest Miss Lena, we must take a rule we must make a rule that passwords must be a specific length. Monday, what is what what the uh, Vijay expect from Lena? That Lena should take arrange a meeting and she should give instruction suggestion to all the staffs that they should make a particular password of a specific length, and that staff must change their password at least once in a week. 
oh sorry once in a month okay and please let me know what do you think about this okay so mr vijay has a concern that uh, um, that um, our the staffs in the departments are uh, keeping a very weak password and it might there might be a risk of uh, uh, break, uh, breaches of the inform personal information of the clients and he asked miss lena to take call a meeting and ask our staff to make a longer strong password and the staff should change their password at least once in a month and what do you think about my concern and then signing off regards vijay thank you so much over to ma'am hello uh, hello sir dear students did you have any questions please uh, type message in chat box so uh, those who want ppt i will convey your message to pandre sir uh, he will take appropriate action and okay i will uh, share this ppt on the groups okay no issue okay any other question so uh, thank you so much uh, pandre sir for uh, taking out time from your busy schedule your session will definitely help students so on behalf of all students and uh, first year department i kaushik raut extend my sincere gratitude toward you thank you pandre sir thank you thank you you all i must say thanks to all the ap students for listening me patiently patiently thank you so much so dear students uh, next session will start at uh, 11:45 that is yoga session after that academic activities by uh, dr uh, rajveer shastri sir will be conducted thank you
ಬಂಧುಪಟ್ಟಿದ್ದ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ so i hope all students are here so we'll be starting our session uh, uh, sir nitwa sir is here so we'll be starting our session one minute only So I would like to request uh, Nitwa sir to uh, kindly start his session. Hi everybody, and welcome. Yesterday we have learned uh, pranayam called Nadi Nadi Shodhan. Now we'll have a, a brief re review on the uh, yesterday's discussion. 
नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम व्हाट वी डू डन एस्टरडे काय केलं होतं आपण काल बघा आपल्या उजवा हात राईट हँड उजव्या हाताची पहिली दोन बोट अंगठा आणि शेवटची दोन बोट असे आपण तीन त्याचे भाग केले हा उजव्या हाताची पहिली दोन बोट दोन्ही उभयांच्या मध्ये ना हा ना हे ढुकुटी म्हणतात त्याला ढुकुटी मध्ये अंगठा एका नागपुडीवरती आणि शेवटची दोन बोट दुसऱ्या नागपुडीवरती ओके तर ही पोझिशन होती डावा हात जरी आपण लेफ्टी असलो तरी उजव्याच हातानं हे पोझिशन घ्यायची आणि डावा हात चिन मुद्रेमध्ये ही मुद्रा आहे एक पहिलं बोट आणि अंगठा एकमेकांच्या समोर अगदी हेअर गॅप ठेवायचा दोन्ही मध्ये हा हेअर गॅप ठेवून तो मांडीवरती किंवा गुडघ्यावरती ठेवायचा पहिली दोन बोट अंगठा उजव्या हाताची पहिली दोन बोट अंगठा आणि शेवटची दोन बोट दुसऱ्या नागपुडीवरती ही पोझिशन आहे जो जी दोन बोट आपण कपाळावरती टेकवतोय किंवा बुरकुटीमध्ये टेकवतोय ती जास्ट टच करायची प्रेस नाही करायची हलकस अगदी हेअर गॅप असेल तरी चालेल ठीक आहे दोन्ही नागपुड्या उघड्या असताना श्वास आतमध्ये घेतला त्यानंतर आपण अंगठ्यानं उजवी नागपुडी बंद केली आणि डाव्या नागपुडीनं श्वास सोडला आणि जेव्हा आपण डाव्या नागपुडीनं परत श्वास भरतो तेव्हा प्राणायाम सुरू होत ओके हे प्राणायाम सुरू झाल्यानंतर मग आता ह्याचे काउंट सुरू झाले तर कसं काउंट करायचे डाव्या नागपुडीनं श्वास भरला उजव्या नागपुडीनं सोडला उजव्या नागपुडीनं भरला आणि डाव्या बाजूनं सोडला हा एक काउंट झाला असे नऊ काउंट किंवा पाच मिनिट आपल्याला करायचे तर आज आपण रिपीट करूया हे पाच पूर्ण पाच मिनिटांचा हा एक राऊंड आपण पूर्ण करूया करूया सगळेजण तर पो हा तर आता व्हिडिओ ऑन करूया आपण म्हणजे मला दिसेल तुम्ही काय करताय ते सगळ्यांनी व्हिडिओ आपले आपले ऑन करा फक्त प्राणायामापुरते पाच मिनिट झाल्यानंतर परत तुमचे व्हिडिओ तुम्ही बंद ठेवले तरी चालेल आपले आपले व्हिडिओ ऑन करा व्हेरी नाईस हा आपले आपले व्हिडिओ ऑन करा आणि पोझिशन घ्या ओके हा तुम्ही सोप्यावरती किंवा खाली बस जमिनीवरती बसलेला असाल तर खूप चांगलं होईल पण खुर्चीत बसलेला असाल तरी काय अडचण नाहीये ठीक आहे हा पहिली दोन बोट उजव्या हाताची पहिली दोन बोट दोन्ही बोयांच्या मध्ये उजवाच हात हा राईट हँड अंगठा एका नागपुडीवरती आणि शेवटची दोन बोट दुसऱ्या नागपुडीवरती छान सगळ्यांनी पोझिशन घेतलेली आहे डावा हात चिनमुद्रेमध्ये म्हणजे पहिलं बोट आणि अंगठा एकमेकांच्या समोर आणि ते गुडघ्यावरती ठेवलेला आहे आरामशीर बसायचं आहे खांदे सैल सोडलेले आहेत पाठीचा कणा सरळ आहे आणि कम्फर्टेबली एकदम आरामशीर श्वास घ्यायचे आता हे श्वास घेताना आणखी एक लक्ष ठेवायचंय काल आपण खूप महत्वाची गोष्ट एक चर्चा केली होती ती म्हणजे आपण श्वास भरताना पोट थोडस पुढे आलं पाहिजे आणि श्वास सोडताना पोट आत गेलं पाहिजे ठीक आहे हे लक्षात ठेवून आपण हे श्वास घेणार आहे तर आपण सुरू करूया आणि हे समजल्यानंतर तुम्ही डोळे बंद करून हे शांतपणे पाच मिनिट करत राहायचंय पाच मिनिट झाल्यावरती मी तुम्हाला सूचना करेन तेव्हा आपले आपले डोळे उडायला हरकत नाही तेव्हा मी सांगेन तुम्हाला ठीक आहे पोझिशन घ्या रेडी पोझिशन घ्या उजव्या हाताची दोन्ही बोट दोन्ही बोयांच्या मध्ये अंगठा एका नाकुडीवरती आणि शेवटची दोन बोट दुसऱ्या नाकुडीवरती डावा हात चिनमुद्रेमध्ये आणि एक साधारण श्वास आत दोन्ही नाकुड्या उघड्या आहेत उजव्या हातानं उजव्या अंगठ्यानं उजवी आकुडी बंद करूया आणि डाव्या बाजूनं श्वास सोडूया डाव्याच बाजून श्वास भरूया डावी बाजू बंद करूया आणि उजव्या नाकुडीनं सोडूया परत उजव्या नाकुडीनंच भरूया डाव्या नाकुडीनं सोडूया चालू ठेवा आता हे पाच मिनिट डोळे बंद करून शांतपणे हे करत राहा पाच मिनिट आपण
सर्वांनी चालू ठेवायचा आहे करत राहूया सावकाशपणे श्वास भरायचा उजव्या नाकपणीने श्वास भरला डाव्या नाकपणीने सोडायचा परत डाव्याच नाकपणी भरायचा उजव्या नाकपणीने सोडायचा शांतपणे डोळे बंद करून आरामशीरपणे करत राहा श्वास भरताना खांदे किंवा शरीर वरती उचलायचं नाही फक्त पोट थोडस पुढे येईल पोटाचीच फक्त मुवमेंट होईल आत आणि बाहेर डाव्या नागपुरीनं श्वास सोडत सोडत आराम करूया डोळे उडायला हरकत नाही आरामशीर बसून राहा ठीक आहे तर हे काय होत आपण काय केलं आता नाडीशोधन प्राणायाम केलं काय केलं आपण नाडीशोधन प्राणायाम म्हणतात याला आता नाडीशोधन प्राणायाम हे काय आहे नाडीशोधन का म्हणायचं याला थोडस समजून घेऊया चालेल ना बघा आपल्या शरीरामध्ये बहात्तर हजार नाडे आहेत किती आहेत बहात्तर हजार नाडे आहेत पण त्यातल्या तीन महत्वाच्या आहेत एक मध्ये आपल्या पाठीच्या कण्यामधून म्हणजे आपल्या डोक्याच्या वरच्या भागापासून अशी पूर्ण शरीराच्या बरोबर मधून पाठीच्या कण्यामधून खाली आपल्या गुदद्वारापर्यंत जाते तिला मध्यमा म्हणतात दुसरी उजव्या बाजूनं जाते आणि तिसरी डाव्या बाजूनं जाते एक सूर्य नाडी आणि एक चंद्र नाडी ठीक आहे तर आता ह्याच ह्याच काही सायंटिफिक काही त्याच महत्व आहे बघा ही सूर्य नाडी आणि चंद्र नाडी काय करते जसं सूर्य नाडी तिला का म्हणायचं तर सूर्य काय करतो उष्णता देतो तर जेव्हा आपली सूर्यनाडी ऍक्टिव्ह असते बघा आपल्या ज्या दोन नाकुड्या आहेत ना त्या नाकुड्या एका वेळी एकच नाक आपलं चालू असत ते दर अडीच तासानंतर बदलत असत हे सायंटिफिक आहे दर अडीच तासानंतर दिवसाच्या प्रत्येक त्याला घटका म्हणतात त्या प्रत्येक घटकेमध्ये हे बदलत असत आणि प्रत्येक अडीच तासानंतर ते बदलत असत 
तर जे लोक योग किंवा योग साधना मेडिटेशन वगैरे नियमितपणे करत असतात त्यांच्या दोन्ही नाकुड्या चालू असतात पण जे काहीच करत नाहीत त्यांची एक नाकुडी एका वेळी चालू असते आणि कधी कधी जेव्हा आपल्याला थोडस काही फिवर किंवा थोडासा त्रास होत असेल आपल्या दोन्ही नाकुड्या बंद पडतात म्हणजे अगदी सर्दीच झाली पाहिजे नाकुड्या बंद पडायला असं काही नाही तर नाकुड्या दोन्ही बंद पडू शकतात म्हणजे श्वास घ्यायला आपल्याला त्रास होतो ठीक आहे आता सूर्यनाडी काय करते आणि चंद्रनाडी काय करते तर सूर्यनाडी शरीरामध्ये उष्णता निर्माण करायचं काम करते चंद्रनाडी थंडावा किंवा शीतलता निर्माण करायचं काम करत असते तर हे लक्षात ठेवायचं नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम आपण का करतो तर आपल्या शरीरामध्ये समस किंवा उष्ण आणि थंड यांचं एक बॅलन्स करायचं काम करत असत शरीर थंड असेल तर ते नॅचरल टेम्परेचरला येतं किंवा जास्त गरम असेल किंवा जास्त आपल्याला थोडस फील होत असेल उष्णता तरी ते थंड करायचं काम करत असते ह्याला हे नाडी शोधन प्राणायाम आपलं मन शांत होतं हे प्राणायाम केल्यानंतर आपल्या आपल्याला एकदम आरामशीर कम्फर्टेबल वाटायला लागतं बघा आज आपण आणखी एक प्राणायाम आपण शिकूया सर्वांनी माझ्याकडे बघा काय करायचं ह्याला म्हणतात कपाल भाती प्राणायाम आता हे कसं करायचं सहज बसायचं आहे आणि दोन्ही हात गुडघ्यावरती ठेवायचे आणि फक्त श्वास घ्यायचा आहे पाठीचा कणा सरळ पाठ पाठ मागे टेकून नाही बसायचं जरी तुम्ही खुर्चीत बसला असाल तरी सरळ बसायचं आणि पाठ सरळ आहे खांदे सैल आहेत मान सरळ ठेवायची ठीक आहे ज्यांना व्हिडिओ ऑन करणं शक्य आहे त्यांनी केले तरी चालतील म्हणजे मला समजेल किंवा मग तुम्हाला वाटेल असेल तर तुम्ही व्हिडिओ बंद करून बघू शकता फक्त ऐका आणि मी माझ्या माझ्याकडे लक्ष द्या काय करायचं आहे कुठलाही प्राणायाम सुरू करताना आधी साधे श्वास घ्यायचे आणि सोडायचे हे कशासाठी तर आपल्या लंग्स एमटी करण्यासाठी लंग्स मध्ये जी हवा ट्रॅप झालेली असते ती काढण्यासाठी साधे श्वास घ्यायचे आणि सोडायचे आता तुम्ही काही न करता आधी माझ्याकडे बघा फक्त <coughs> मी ह्याचे एक दोन राऊंड करून दाखवतो आधी मी श्वास घेतोय आणि सोडतोय श्वास घेतले आणि सोडले मी लंग्स रिकामे केले आता मी कपाल भातीचे श्वास घेतोय तर काय करायचं आहे पोटाला हलकासा जर्ग देऊन हवा आत घ्यायची आणि सोप बाहेर काढायची आहे आपोआप येऊ द्यायची परत पोटाला जर्ग देऊन हवा बाहेर काढायची फक्त एक्सेल फोर्सफुल एक्सेल करायचं नॅचरली जी हवा येते आत येते तेवढीच येऊ द्यायची पर्पजली घ्यायची नाहीये ठीक आहे बघा आम्ही एकदा एक, एक राऊंड पूर्ण करून दाखवतो श्वास सोडला मी हा तर मी हे चार पाच श्वास घेऊन दाखवले याच गतीनं एक मीडियम पेसनं आपण हे श्वास घेत राहायचं आहे तर तुमच्या लक्षात आलं असेल याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला प्राणायामामध्ये किंवा हे शिकताना काही अडचणी येत असतील तर तुम्ही व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुपवरती तुमच्या कन्सर्न व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुपवरती तुम्ही तसंच सांगा आपण परत परत तुम्हाला ते एक्सप्लेन करत राहू ठीक आहे तर आपल्याला एक पूर्ण हा राऊंड आपण आता करूया हे किती करायचं याला म्हणतात कपाल भाती किती करायचे हे साधारणपणे वीस ते पंचवीस स्ट्रोक्स पर राऊंड आणि असे एकूण तीन राऊंड करायचे ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाय स्ट्रोक्स पर राऊंड आणि एकूण तीन राऊंड करायचे ते पूर्ण आपण हे प्राणायाम करूया ठीक आहे एक आज एकच राऊंड आपण करूया ठीक आहे एक राऊंड करू आणि मग आपण थांबूया तर सगळ्यांनी तयार राहा पाठीचा कणा सरळ खांदे सैल मान सरळ आणि अगदी सहज बसूया माझ्याकडे लक्ष द्या डोळे उघडे ठेवून आज शिकायचं डोळे बंद नका करू आता हे प्राणायाम करताना आपण जेव्हा शिकतो तेव्हा आपल्याला ते प्रॉपरली समजलं पण पाहिजे ठीक आहे दोन श्वास घ्या साधे श्वास आणि सोडा आपले लंग्स रिकामे करून घ्या आणि माझ्या बरोबर सर्वांनी कपाल भाती प्राणायाम सुरू करा
विश्राम करूया हा ज्यांचे व्हिडिओ चालू होते मला दिसत होत ते लोक छान करत होते ठीक आहे तर असंच हे प्राणायाम करायचं आहे सगळेजण बरोबर करत होते अजूनही कोणाला समजलं असेल तर तुम्ही तुमच्या संबंधित व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुप वरती सांगा मी याच्यामध्ये आणखी तुम्हाला स्पष्टीकरण देईन आता हे कपालभाती प्राणायाम झालं बघा आपण जे शिकतोय ना तुम्ही ह्याची प्रॅक्टिस करा आता तुम्हाला नाडीशोधन प्राणायाम पूर्ण समजलेला आहे तर तुम्ही हे दिवसातून एकदा किंवा दोनदा तुम्ही रिपीट करू शकता तर सकाळी आणि संध्याकाळी तुम्ही करायला हरकत नाही काय अलोपॅथीची गोळी नाही त्याच्यामुळे ह्याचे काही साईड इफेक्ट नाही आहेत तुम्ही एकदा किंवा दोनदा सकाळी पाच मिनिट आणि संध्याकाळी पाच मिनिट हे करू शकता शांतपणे बसायचं जेव्हा आपण फ्रेश असतो आंघोळ करून शांतपणे बसायचं किंवा झोपेतून उठून बसल्या बसल्या केलं तरी चालेल फ्रेश होऊन आल्यावरती ठीक आहे तर सकाळी पाच मिनिट संध्याकाळी पाच मिनिट नाडीशोधन प्राणायाम करा आणि त्यानंतर कपाल भातीचा जे समजलंय तिथपर्यंत करा चुकलं तर चुकू दे काही फरक पडत नाही हा उद्या आणखी आपण ह्याच्यामध्ये करेक्शन करूया आणि उद्या समजून घ्या व्यवस्थित उद्या पूर्ण प्राणायाम फुल त्याचं सेशन घेऊया आणि त्यावेळेला तुम्हाला समजेल आणखी तर हे उद्या आज आणि आज संध्याकाळी आणि उद्या सकाळी तुम्ही दोन्ही प्राणायाम रिपीट करणार आहात पूर्ण करा नाडीशोधन प्राणायामही पूर्ण करा आणि कपाल भाती प्राणामा पूर्ण करा ठीक आहे बाकीच आपण उद्या पाहूया थँक्यू नेटवे सर Good afternoon students next session will be by dr rajveer shastri sir so sir is professor at vidya pratishthan kamal nayan bajaj institute of technology baramati sir's academic qualification sir has completed phd from sri guru gobind singh ji institute of engineering and technology nanded in 2014 sir has completed post graduation degree mtech from same institute in 2004 sir has completed btech from uh, college of engineering ambezogai in entc sir has 17 years teaching experience and professor of electronics and communication telecommunication in vidya pratishthan college research contribution sir has enormous research contribution sir has published 35 papers in national international conference and journals he has presented his research paper in international conference at usa and brazil special recognition awards he he was awarded with summer Inter research fellowship 2013 from care that is center for applied research in electronics at iit delhi sir is now playing role as an dean academics at vidya pratishthan college and he is also head of department in entc department thank you over to you sir thank you sir for my uh, introduction but just let me clear you one thing uh, i am not head of the department professor lande uh, sir is looking 
uh, working as head of department of entc okay so thank you for uh, rest of the introduction uh, hope i am audible to everyone can you give me an audio feedback for that yes sir you are audible yes thank you thanks a lot okay uh, okay so you know, everyone welcome to all of you all the students for uh, at vpk bt just a minute i need to present it let's see what i can it possible to hope my screen is visible to everyone yes is it the screen is visible yes sir screen is visible yes okay welcome my dear students and if parents they are attending this session hmm छान योगा केला आहे आणि तुम्ही प्राणायाम केलेत मन तरोताज बुद्धी तरोताजी झाली असणार आणि अशाच फ्रेश माइंडनी आपण अकॅडमिक्सला काही गोष्टी अकॅडमिक्स बद्दल मी सांगणार आहे कदाचित त्या तुम्हाला चांगल्या वाटतील आणि पुढे पुढच्या दृष्टिकोनातून त्या अधिक फायद्याच्या ठरतील राईट सो welcome you all and you are here in the uh, vp kbit of course uh, as master urugwe said in kung fu panda right there are no accidents okay so you are in vp kbit it's not the accident okay some of you might have come by choice some of you might have uh, come by as there is no option you might have not got as per your choice maybe branch is not as per your choice but just forget about it it's your destiny to be or to utilize vpk vit to be the best engineer in the world okay so believe there are no accidents and here your journey is going to start i am professor rajesh shastri going to share you some of the academic practices and expectations from all of you okay uh at vpk viit yes what it said you might have uh, well aware of you might have seen this movie and it's all its versions multiple times right so there is one famous quote in this movie yesterday is history tomorrow is mystery but today is present right and that's why it is called today is a gift and that's why it is called present okay just i referred that you might have uh, either you got by choice or you are here by no choice but just forget about that you might have good marks you might have poor marks forget about that your admission is through tfws cet management forget about that because it is history okay tomorrow you are going to be i don't know what you are going to be right when you don't know what you are going to be so tomorrow is mystery but today is the gift we have to utilize today okay we have to enjoy our today we have to give our fullest to this today whatever the job that has been assigned to us that we must do 100 to 100% today okay so that it will get converted into a present okay so present 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 we should give our fullest effort to the present and i said present 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 and as i am talking about academics yes what is the most important is present e right in your class it matters i think uh, you breaker sir has already explained to you that what is what is required is your uh, perfect presentee in learning sessions okay 
it's not that go and attend one class and do a routine job okay you have to take out of each and every minute of your class you have paid for those classes okay and it is your prime duty to utilize best from your those classes okay so already hebraker sir has shared that um, there is 80% attendance compulsory because it is our observation that if you keep on losing your attendance less than 80% your academic performance will keep on decreasing okay so it is mandatory from our side that you must attend each and every lecture without fail okay so it is for every student okay every day okay so please keep this in mind because this will improve your performance uh, with the dream that you have seen okay it's not only uh, the attendance is required right you have to achieve your dreams with proper study okay and just i would like to share a few simple tips for your study okay so here are 10 tips for your study find the best method of your study okay abhyas maza kadhi changla hoto right kasa changla hoto okay so for that one you have to identify what kind of learner you are ni kutya paddhati ne jasta changla shikto okay so if you want to know more about your learning style please visit here you can see this url http warklearn.com the war questionnaire you can just enter in google the war questionnaire and just answer those questions okay and you will come to know okay what kind of learner you are better whether you learn better from audio listening lectures whether you learn better by video sessions okay or whether you learn by doing something practicing something so that is most important thing that you must know right so that is the first point second is yes of course chaba chaba ke khao daba ke khao right so uh, eat well well eat healthy exercise regularly that is that is what that we have observed okay we are uh, the engineering students after some days they will become little lazy okay but yes sound healthy body right healthy mind so both are required for us so you have to exercise regularly always stay positive okay think what kind of thinking that you are doing mala he nahi milalo mala te nahi milalo mala asa nahi zalo mala tasa nahi zalo majhe kade he ahe majhe kade te nahi hai okay so please try to keep yourself on positive line and whatever our nutritionist has told uh the yoga and pranayam exercise will surely keep you on positive side get enough sleep don't develop an habit to sleep more or unnecessary keep you keep uh, uh being awake in nights okay have some breaks it's not required to do a uh, thing monotonously right have some breaks enjoy it and another most important set goals what must be your goal okay so your short term goal i i think your short term goal must be getting minimum first class in first year okay minimum first class in first year that must be your goal when you are coming here okay so set your goals okay what very what you want to be okay let it be uh, uh, whether the firm things are not there but you can dream high dream big okay and set the goals accordingly yes find the best study time for you observe where because we have to think how effectively we can work and get most out of the academics okay not only in academics from best of the things exams are good okay don't fear about exams okay prepare for exams and face it and win in exams okay so exams are good not can be good they are good because they are identifying something good potential in you okay so exams are good and yes sleep on the right time so that's what few tips that i would like to share uh, okay so this is 
I have told exams are good, and you will find in once you enter in the KBIT, you are going to face so many exams. Okay, there will be few concept tests. Every faculty is going to uh, conduct some online tests for you. There will be certain set of practice tests for you. There are unit tests which will be taken after one unit, two unit, three, uh, or some specified unit. There will be prelims. University is going to conduct mid sem, end sem. Okay. So so many exams, Kai Karoga Bari, what exams, right? But please understand, with change in the education system, it is our prime duty to get prepared for examination. We should not fear about examination. We should not fear about failures. Okay, as it is said, failure is the first step of success. There is no need to failure about uh, fear about exam failure. Okay, so. Yes, what is to be done? Okay, so this is maybe you might have experience when you do not prepare and uh, probably give, and when you see the question paper, okay, what will be your first reaction? Is it the same subject that I am coming for this exam? Okay, so it's like uh, that villain in Kung Fu Panda, right? So much scary. Okay, but it's not. It's not the way. Okay, what we have to do? We should like exams. The reason is the days are gone. Our education system was very diluted. We were doing only few things like remembering things, a little bit of understanding, and just omitting it on paper. Okay, and getting marks. But what is the problem? Why many of engineers are not getting job? Because companies do not want engineers just to write on paper. They want that you should solve their problems, real life problems, right? So whatever knowledge that you have gained, you must understand to apply it. You must understand to analyze the problems. You must understand to evaluate. And you must understand to create a new solution, create a new knowledge. And if we follow this, then only we will be outcome oriented. We can deliver the better outcomes to the company and to the nation. Okay. So we should develop a good knowledge, and this has been shared by a very famous uh, scientist, Bloom's. It is called as Bloom's taxonomy. If we are at the lower levels, we are not going to achieve anything. So our faculties will test you for all this, right? And that's why all various exams are required, so that you will learn to apply, analyze, evaluate, and create a new knowledge, find new solutions, find new ways to solve the current problems, find efficient ways to solve the current problems. Okay, and that's what. Uh, We are expecting engineer in you should be developed and that will be done with various exams. Okay, so we should be happy once exams are announced. Yes. Okay, so exams are coming and I have to prepare for something. Okay, so if that I say that is a positive mindset, right? So yes, for that what is required? Yes. Yes, both hard and smart work. We should not fear about hard work. Okay, we we are not allowed to be lazy for these four years. Okay, we have to believe that I have I have a high dreams. I have big dreams, and I have everything to achieve in my in those dreams. Okay, so you must work hard. Okay, so these pictures are showing the hard work and smart work. Okay, you have to do multiple things at a time. Okay, so you have to work out some time management as well. Okay, so yes, there is though you will work out the smart work, there is also requirement of hard work because we have to learn so many things which will make you the best engineer. Okay, and on time management, yes, we have an habit. काय करायचं कधी करायचं जाऊ दे ना उद्या करू राईट वी विल ऑलवेज से टुमॉरो हे आज करायचं का नाही उद्या करू मॅथमॅटिक्स वाचायला सांगितलंय का जाऊ दे ना उद्या करू आज संध्याकाळी नीटवे सरांनी प्रॅक्टिस करायला सांगितलंय का प्राणायामाची 
हवद्यांना उद्या करू ओके हा उद्या सगळ्यात मोठा घातक आहे आपल्यासाठी वॉट इट इज सेड इट इज प्रो प्रॅक्टिनेशन चाल ढकल करतो आत्ता नको परत करू ओके हे आपण आपल्यासाठीच खड्डा खाण्यासारखं आहे माझ्या डोक्यात आता न आत्ताच करतो इफ दॅट इज द पॉझिटिव्ह अप्रोच ओके सो यू शुड लीड युअर सेल्फ विथ पॉझिटिव्ह अप्रोच नो प्रो प्रॅक्टिनेशन इज अलोड यू हॅव टू वर्क आउट वॉट एवर द असाइनमेंट दॅट आर गिवन ओके यू विल बी आस्क लॉट ऑफ डेटा यू विल बी आस्क लॉट ऑफ गुगल फॉर्म्स क्वेश्चन इज राईट सो यू हॅव टू वर्क आउट दॅट वन immediately okay you must be always on toes not tomorrow okay only today that exists in our system and again one most important thing is on social media right uh, nowadays that social media is eating most of the time of our life okay it's mostly useless we we are in world do social media is useful we are using it only for entertainment entertainment and entertainment purpose right so these are called as weapons of mass destruction you know massacre uh, like things are there facebook twitter whatsapp youtube okay if you are not using it positively okay these are the four years you have to sincerely utilize your time okay if you are losing your one minute you are uh, losing a lot that kind of feeling that should be there okay so and that is what we expect that you please manage your time properly and one of the major killer time killer is social media so try to think of okay these uh, achievers either you uh, though it is सुंदर पिच आहे राईट ऑर इट इज जोसेफ ऑर इट इज ॲमेझॉन दॅट इज ॲमेझॉन सी ओ ओके ऑर फॉर सी ओ ऑफ युअर टेस्टला कार ओके दे नो टू युटिलाइज देअर टाईम इन बेटर वे अँड दॅट्स वाय दे आर लिडर्स टू डे राईट सो हो सम ऑफ यू विल बी ऑन दॅट स्टेज ओके येस so that's what i was talking about is your dream that i want to be a best engineer okay we are here through the academic support okay to make you the best engineer right so what you have to do you have to do all those things that you have not done okay uh, earlier so that you will learn few more things okay so that is a famous quote if you only do what you can do okay so if you limit yourself then you will be never learning more things okay so to be the best do not limit yourself try to learn every subject each subject do not feel anything is difficult in the um academics okay talk to your teacher talk to your friend search on youtube search on so many courses are there okay anything difficult that you found okay you must try to hunt it okay let's find out let's let's crush it i must know it that kind of uh, thought process that you should have then only you could be utilize academics to become the best engineer yes and we will provide you all those resources of learning for you okay you might have heard npt yes swayam these are most uh, famous government initiatives iit professors and nit professors have opened their sessions have opened their lectures on the subjects okay they are quite in depth and we are making our students to learn them okay so you should when you will get certificates from iits or there is coursera udemy you are well aware of might be or edx right these are from foreign universities now everything has opened only what is required that you should have that thirst to learn okay our um, institute will provide you the licenses of edx coursera udemy right so please utilize those spoken tutorial tutorials are another is one of the major initiatives of iit that is available with us 
University of Pune is offering honors and minor degree, additional degrees in current uh, uh, emerging areas, right? So you have to be on on your toes to get an additional degree, right? That is the best opportunity to get the additional degree for you. We are going to focus value added courses. Okay, it's not only the academic that we are going to teach you. We will teach you. Uh, technical skills we will teach you uh, professional ethics right we will teach you human values so we are responsible for your holistic development comprehensive development only what we need from your uh, your side is your full support full involvement in such type of initiatives okay without limiting yourselves okay so these are all the set of courses that will we will provide to you how you can use these learnings okay after learning through all these resources you must participate in various competitions okay please don't keep yourself behind whatever any competition you should make a group and try to think how i can participate it rather than kashala parshana zala right so come out of that Come out of friends, those who are just putting hurdles like this, okay? Because we have to build tomorrow's India, right? We want that India should be most developed country, and it won't happen if we do not work like that, okay? So participate in competitions, hackathons. We will post every time uh, any new initiative to you. We expect that you should take wholehearted participation. Yes. Finally, we think is our students should follow a model. Our principal sir, Dr. R. S. Bichar has Bichar has proposed a faster me model. Okay, what is that faster me? We expect every student of V. P. should proudly say, okay, that faster me, me faster, right? So what that faster me? F for fundamentals. You must be very good at fundamentals. we will attend we will work out courses for fundamental uh, knowledge okay it's not only limited to fundamental but also we will make you to learn advanced knowledge right so that is also important we will make you to learn skills so that you will be employable in companies we will teach you technical subjects we will teach you how to become entrepreneur which is the buzz word today okay today the world is uh, not Uh, seeking for um, the students who just want a job okay uh, it is something beyond that you it's it's not that you should be only job seeker you should be job provider okay so think big on one fine day you will own a big company and you will uh, provide the jobs to others so that is what the major thing and lot of uh, schemes and support has been given by institute also by government and we need students who want to utilize this okay so i dream that in first year only if it is possible try to think of how to start your own startup and our uh, center of entrepreneurial development cell that we support you we want you to be a very good researcher finding out uh, fundamental working on fundamental research right so we will provide you uh, that kind of knowledge management it's not only these things are required technical things but a manager within you should be developed and also you should be aware of interdisciplinary knowledge it's not that uh, okay i am computer so i only know how to operate computer but if there is a power failure i don't know how to deal with the extension box okay that is a very uh, raw example but boundaries of branches are going to vanish okay all the applications will be uh, based on multidisciplinary applications interdisciplinary applications so if you have a mechanical uh, student okay so and an ent student entc students should be the best friends okay so that they will share the knowledge that they are gaining okay so try to break the boundaries of branches okay and try to get the knowledge uh, this is what the fundamental Uh, concept behind the faster me model that our principal has proposed and we are trying to follow this uh, model for every student right and to do everything 
what is you will find you will be pushed very hard by our faculties right so you will be surprised itna rehta kya itna kaam hota hai kya itna padhai karna padta hai no kare baba engineering right you may get something some feeling like this but see if we have to make bright future we have to we have to make our present hard right if you work hard for this four years you will enjoy throughout your life if you only enjoy in this four years you have to work hard for your life choice is yours if you want okay so that's what okay we are ready to work hard are you ready to work hard okay you are wired we want you should be student like panda right so please work hard okay be focused and we expect that you should uh work hard for the things okay that we will keep in front of you and what the secret of success okay secret of success is nothing else not these buildings okay not this garden of vpk vit not the faculty of vpk vit okay it's only you can make a difference to this world okay we will we will provide everything to you as uh as best as we can okay for the academics but you have to utilize every opportunity okay if you keep on finding here and there okay someone will come and solve my problem it won't happen okay you have to come forward you have to work for it okay and that's why there is no secret ingredient of the success only you 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 are the secret ingredient of the success okay so i hope you everyone will be successful everyone will be successful not only in academic but in overall picture of um your learning spectrum okay so it's always it's always there is always something more to learn even for a master okay so that's what the concept of life long learning has come okay all these bodies aict ugc okay uh, education ministry has given 12 characteristics of a students what a graduate should have okay a graduate should have the, one of the most important skill is life long learner he must be life long learner ayushya bhar aplyala shikaycha hai आणि आयुष्यभर शिकत राहिलं तरच प्रगत प्रगती होते ओके हा सगळ्यांचाच एक्सपिरियन्स असेल की ओके कोणाला वाटतं दहावी नंतर ओके बारावी नंतर शिक्षण संपलं पुन्हा इंजिनिअरिंगला इंजिनिअरिंग ग्रॅज्युएट झाल्यानंतर विचारा तुम्ही तुमच्या इंजिनिअरिंग मित्रांना बस झाला की इंजिनिअर आता ओके नो अरे नाही तो म्हणतो अजून पुढे शिकायचं पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएट झालेल्या व्यक्तीला विचारा पी एच डी झालेल्याला विचारा पर एखाद्या कंपनी ओनरला विचारा तो म्हणतो नाही नाही आता तर मला काहीच माहिती नाही मला आणखी शिकायचं आहे ओके सो लाईफ लॉंग लर्निंग इज द की ऑफ सक्सेस ओके सो एव्हरीबडी शुड गेट इन्वॉल्व आय रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू टेक प्लेस टुडे ओके आय विल कीप ऑन लर्निंग आय विल नॉट हेजिटेट टू लर्न एनिथिंग एव्हरीथिंग दॅट कम्स टू मी अँड इफ यू फॉलो दिस ओके on one fine day yes you will be bachelor you will be master okay of the things that you want okay and i hope you will be the best engineer i want you should enjoy the journey of becoming the engineer okay and when enjoyment will not come with lazy efforts enjoyment will come to hard consistent okay efforts which we should love it okay so uh, this is in brief i have just given a glance to expectations from you what are the academic buzzwords that will come to you okay a uh, lot of support will be given by faculty through google classroom faculty has youtube channels please try to see those videos okay and uh, tests i have already told okay uh various presentations and seminars and opportunity will be there for you just i want please do not miss any opportunity we have centers of excellence one of the most innovative concept that our institute has 
okay in every current technology we have centers and faculties and a group of students working in it we join those centers and try to solve the problems of world okay so with this uh, as uh, i'm just going to uh, finish the time that has been allotted please enjoy the journey and become the best engineer my best wishes are there to all of you if you have any questions that you can uh, ask me or you can talk to me you can write to me at rajveer.shastri@utkvit.org any problem in your academics any problem that you have you can uh, or you can write to dean.acad@utkvit.org uh, that's all from my side thank you dr hirikar sir for, and all your team for giving me opportunity to share uh, the expectations and just a glimpse of academics from my side uh thank you everyone thanks a lot okay that's the end over to you sir dear students did you have any question you can type in chat box okay thank you students uh, thank you so much sir for taking out time from your busy schedule your session will definitely help students so on behalf of all students so first year department i kaushik raut extend my sincere gratitude to you thank you sir next session will start at 2 pm after lunch thank you students please join at 2 pm
वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून सो अगेन वेलकम बैक फॉर द आफ्टरनून सेशन नाउ वी हैव वन मोर सेशन ऑन आईओटी इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड द स्पीकर इज मिस सोनल निगम द फैकल्टी फ्रॉम ई एन टी सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बी पी के बी आई टी सो टू टॉक अबाउट हर ब्रिथली शी हैज बीन एन अलमनस ऑफ आवर इंस्टीट्यूट इट सेल्फ शी हैज कंप्लीटेड हर बी इन ई एन टी सी फ्रॉम आवर इंस्टीट्यूट इट सेल्फ इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व then also completed me post graduation in digital systems from our institute itself she is to topper with cgpa 8.2 she has 6 years teaching experience at this institute as well as ait arve institute of technology about publications she has to her credit three i triple e papers one at elsewhere journal and five conference proceedings she has been the mentor for winning winning smart in india hackathon team area of interest signal processing iot image processing digital electronics and she has involved in conducting another center of excellence in the form of universal human values again madam received simio 20 license worth of 48000 dollars from simio llcr pennsylvania usa so with this brief introduction i will like to hand over the charge to miss sonal nikam for session on iot internet of things so sir admit kare the सर स्क्रीन इज ओके एंड माय ऑडियो यस मैडम एब्सोल्युटली ओके यू आर ऑडिबल ओके एंड स्क्रीन इज आल्सो देयर सो जस्ट लेट मी पुट माय प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन प्रेजेंटेशन मोड 
आई थिंक नाउ इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल राइट ओके प्लीज कंटिन्यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर फॉर सच अ नाइस इंट्रोडक्शन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल एंड वेलकम यू ऑल एफ ई फ्रेशर्स टू वी पी के बी आई टी फैमिली एंड सो आई होप यू ऑल आर अवेयर विद दिस वर्ड और द name at least that internet of things so uh, i would like to start the today's session with a uh, one question uh, what is uh, permanent in this world or uh, what is uh, many times we he- heard the uh, quotes many quotes so uh, i just want to quote uh, one sentence and before that uh, i want the answer of this question what is permanent in this world anyone any student what is permanent in this world atmosphere we are permanent okay so uh, you might have heard the quote that uh, change is the only thing uh, which is permanent in this world and uh, these days in the covid pandemic situation uh, covid uh, pandemic taught us the many things uh, like and a uh, world is changed in, uh, in many perspectives like uh, even the kids now are handling the mobile phones very nicely and uh, uh, we have adopted the online education system and uh, we need and that that is the thing that uh, we need to change with the changing surroundings and uh, with the changing world then only we can exist and then only we can uh, survive so uh, and uh, this uh, i'll say uh, this is uh, that's why this term uh, has introduced that is internet of things uh, because this is the need of current era and this is the need of uh, and this is the new technology which is uh, uh, we need for the um, for which we need for the betterment of uh, human beings and for making our, our life easier and uh, that is the term internet of things so moving to the next slide so uh, first of all we will see uh, the technical definition then i will try to uh, brief uh, about the term uh, iot in marathi uh, so internet of things the word internet of things so basically the motto is connecting things to the internet and that thing can be anything it can be a chair it can be a table it can be a door it can be a bag it can be anything so the world internet of things is connecting the things to or it is the network it it is a internet of thing and that thing can be anything so the internet of things comprises of things that have unique identities and are connected to the internet the focus of iot is in configuration control and networking via the internet of devices or the things that are traditionally not associated with the internet for example pump utility meter car engine ac fridge so see connecting a thing to the internet uh, it will need some identity right because we are we people are connected with the identity of our name in the same way we are introducing and we are connecting the things on the uh, on the internet that 
that means that all everything needs some identity its unique identity and that identity is nothing but the ip address so in iot concept we are going to connect the different things to the internet and we make them to communicate we make them to take the decisions and work like a human beings okay so iot is a new revolution in the capabilities of endpoints that are connected to the internet the scope of iot is not just limited to connecting the things like devices appliances and machines to the internet but it allows these things to communicate and exchange the data and control uh, exchange the control information and processing of this data will provide us various applications towards a common user and a machine goal so obviously one cannot connect a simple chair or simple table to the internet it need to make some specification uh, it need to do some advancement or addition in that uh, thing right without that we cannot directly connect it so for that first of all what we need to do is we need to make the things smart then only we can make them communicate or uh, make them appear on the internet so for that what we need to do that is we are going to study in this uh subject basically because this subject is already there in the final year and uh, now the honor minor course is uh, also st started uh, in the especially honor minor degree uh, we are going to start in the uh, from the third year uh, uh, for uh, entc computer and uh, it so th this is what uh, students uh, study in this subject under this syllabus of this subject so uh this is what the technical definitions which uh, you have seen in the previous and this slide now i would like to elaborate this in marathi so that i just want you to understand uh, this term iot then we will uh, i'll move further so apan aaj internet shivai ayushya chi kalpana as karu shakat nahi इतक कि आई फील लाइक कि मानवाचा इतिहास लिखता जेव इंट इतिहास कभी लिखा जाए मे आता सोवे इंटरनेट पूर्वी जग आ इंटरनेट नंतर च जग अस चक्कर दोन भाग करावे लगते माला तरी वाट देन इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स मधे का वेब एनेबल डिवाइसेस आता वेब एनेबल डिवाइसेस जे की इंटरनेट कनेक्ट करू शको जे डिवाइसेस एकमेक इंटरनेट या मध्यम जोड़े एकमेक बोलू शकत फक्त मनसान लाइक इट्स लाइक अ मशी इट्स लाइक अ मशीन टू मशीन कम्युनिकेशन मनसानी आज्ञा दी मगस फंक्शन करता नहीं तो डिवाइस एक डिवाइस दुसर डिवाइस की बोलू शकत इंटरनेट थ्रू आमेक सहायाने ऐक्शन्स ही घू श वर्क पू शक ओके सो दिस इज हाउ इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंक टेक्नोलॉजीज और एप्लिकेशन्स वर्क ओके सो आई होप द टर्म इज क्लिअर टू यू मीन्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ एप्लिकेशन्स Uh, of, we expect from uh, the term iot is uh, clear to you is it history of iot uh, the term iot uh, is coined in 1999 by uh, kevin aston and so he is the inventor of a uh, term uh, iot and uh, he invented the uh, term iot first in the uh, mit autoid center uh, center in 1999 so uh, he is the kevin aston the father of iot
So the basic idea is uh, to move from the internet of people to internet of things. So see, uh, previously uh, we were using internet uh, or internet appears everywhere in the world, but it's primary, uh, it's primarily used for the uh, communication, for the email exchange. It is primarily the connection between the people for the transferring of information. But now uh, we are moving uh, towards or now we are using the internet for uh, all uh, the different purpose like uh, uh, Internet of Things is a plan to connect the things also using the same medium, using the same internet. So uh, we are uh, we are uh, extending, uh, we can say extending the use of internet uh, from the only for the communication to uh, making the uh, making the things smarter or making the applications smarter, making the devices smarter. So uh, this is what uh, the basic. Uh, motto behind this uh, using uh, so we are started using the internet for connecting the things this is very interesting slide uh, you can see from here the current status and uh, right now it is 2021 already so uh, this is the current status uh, not the features perspective of IoT, this is the current status. I'll say, so uh, you can see, uh, or uh, if you uh, see in 2003, uh, so the first line is world population, second line is connected devices, and uh, the at the bottom connected devices per person. Okay, and uh, the x-axis is uh, year. So uh, you can see in 2003. The connected devices per person were only 0 0.08. This is the uh, survey, completely a survey based uh, uh, numbers, figures. And uh, the connected devices per uh, connected devices were uh, on the internet were uh, 500 million and the world population was uh, 6.3 billion. So, uh, Previously in 2003, even uh, I remember when I was in my first year of engineering in 2008, uh, we hardly had a, a internet connection uh, in a labs even. Uh, we used to go to the library for accessing the internet. Uh, we, we need to do the entry into the register and uh, then uh, we have we got allot allotted with the slots for using the internet. So. Uh, so uh, we are not that much used to for uh, or uh, we don't have that much facilities uh, or easy access to the internet and hardly we had uh, uh, 10 to 15 computers in the library which are having the LAN connection and there also the speed was uh, uh, speed uh, used to be a very uh, slow internet speed. And uh, so the per person number of devices connected to the internet, they were only 0 0.08, means hardly one devices every person is having, uh, which is connected to the internet. The things changed and uh, by 2010, uh, we have uh, 1.84 devices connected to the per person because see uh, by uh, 2010, uh, we have started using mobile phones and uh, the 2G network uh, came and uh, 3G also, I think, uh, in 2010. And connected devices per, per uh, connected devices uh, on the internet, 12.5 uh, billion and world population 6.8 billion. So the number of devices now started increasing uh, than the world population. So per person, 1.84 means uh, near about two devices per person now connected to the internet. The things changed and in, by 2015, 3.47 or near about three devices per person were connected to the internet. The world population 7.2 billion and connected devices 25 billion. 2020, 2020, 6.5 devices and even now you can see 
we have our laptops we have our mobile phones we have our fitbits we have our smart watches we have our alexas uh, all uh, many devices we have which are having the ip addresses and they are connected to the internet uh, we, we are using many and uh, internet enabled devices we have our atm cards they have their ips on uh, atm machines they have their identities on internet so per person we are having uh, more than six devices which are connected or which are having the identities on uh, internet so uh, you can imagine uh, in future when uh, uh, we will be using the all many iot based devices uh, how much how much ips we will require uh, already we have we are using the ipv6 which is having 128 bit ip addressing with which we can have uh, which we with we can have the 340 trillion ip addresses 340 trillion ip addresses which we can have with the ipv6 uh, addressing scheme so uh, so from this slide you can uh, you can get the idea how we are uh, how the world is evolving towards uh, or how the world is changing and how we are becoming and how we are Uh, adding the things to the internet and how uh, our use of internet is changing uh, day by day okay so uh then uh, moving towards the next slide uh, that is uh, evolution of uh, internet of things or uh, i'll say use of internet so pre internet era was uh, human to human uh, communication where we have uh, a pre internet uh, era where we have fixed and mobile telephony and sms as a way of communication uh, only and uh, after after the uh, after the internet the post internet era uh, we have uh, we have started using the internet or uh, we are uh, started using the internet for the contents basically so world wide web was introduced and uh, we have started using internet for the transferring the content or accessing the content and uh, surfing the google so uh, we have started using internet extensively for the emails for information and for entertainment then the era uh, came that was uh, internet of services where uh, we have started using internet for e-commerce e productivity uh, it platforms and services then the era came that is internet of people where uh, we have started using internet for the uh, for the connecting the people with the social media like skype facebook youtube and many more so that that uh, for that purpose we have started using internet extensively and uh, now the era is of internet of things where uh, we have started using internet for uh, the machine connecting the machine one machine to the another machine and uh, make them communicate through the internet for the identification tracking monitoring metering automation actuation and paymenting so you just uh, have a um, look on uh, all the uh, all the applications which we are using so uh, there is nothing but uh, we are already using many iot based applications the we are uh, using the ola uber apps they are what they are all iot iot applications so from the from your mobile you are booking the cab and you are tracking your uh, your cab that is nothing but the iot application even the simple application i can tell you is your atm so uh, you are you are uh, doing the transactions with the atm and at the same time you are getting the messages and you are getting the emails uh, emails regarding your transaction this is nothing but the iot application plus uh, the google pay uh, all the uh, payment upi I, upi services all these are nothing but the iot application so already we have started using the internet for the internet of things in our day to day life oh, and 
as compared to the uh, as compared to the developed countries uh, still the use is less uh, where, because uh, in the developed countries they are using even the smart homes and many smart applications uh, still uh, we have not that that much uh, uh, that much advanced so uh, this is how uh, the use of internet is evolved um, from uh, internet of contents to internet of services to internet of people to internet of things uh, i hope uh, everything is going fine uh, my audio my slides uh, sir uh, is it uh, सोनोने सर राउत सर यस ओके ओके now uh, moving towards uh, the technicalities the iot architecture so uh, before that uh, before that uh, so uh, i just want to uh, add one thing that that uh, so being a part of technical institute and you are uh, you all are the future engineers so uh, you need to know the technical uh, perspectives of uh, these changing things which we have seen in the uh, previous slide uh, things so you all should uh, contribute to this uh, changing world and evolving technology uh, that's what uh, is the expectation uh, from you all in the next 4 years so about this slide the architecture of iot so uh, at the start i said uh, the things uh, the internet of things in that the things uh, we were talking about the things should be a smart then only we can or that object which we want to connect to the internet which or the objects which we want to make communicate or make the decisions that things should be smart and to make them smart what we need is we need to add some hardware and software part to them okay so the if you see this slide the iot architecture so what we need is for building the iot applications first we need the sensors and actuators then we need the devices which help to make the things smarter by giving them the intelligence then we need the gateways and also we need a cloud for because see everything we are going to connect to the internet and everything is going to create a huge amount of data on the internet and even if we are doing the different applications like monitoring and controlling we need to store a huge data and for that a local storage will not be uh, sufficient so we need to use the cloud uh, cloud databases for uh, storing cloud storage for uh, storing the huge amount of information so uh, this is a uh, how uh, we can make the analogy with the uh, you know, analogy with the humans and basically what is the motto behind uh, uh, behind developing this technology uh, or uh, uh, moving towards the iot based devices so because it iot will make our life uh, easier and more comfortable and uh, so and we want uh, the less human intervention in the smart applications right we want to replace uh, the humans by uh, the smart machines or by the uh, smart things 
so uh, so uh, we first need to do uh, we need to de uh, develop uh, devices or develop the things which work similarly like the humans so uh, so all the human qualities we want to incorporate into these things so how we can do that how we can uh, uh, how we can add the senses like humans into the uh, into the machines how we can add the developing capability or thinking capability or decision making capability into the things and how we can add the um, action uh, taking uh, capability into the things so uh, for example let uh, consider uh, a small jar uh, i'll say i want to make my jar a smarter one it should sense it should think it should act or anything my bottle let consider a bottle i want to make it a smart i want my bottle to uh, get smart it should think it should uh, it should sense and it should act so for that purpose we have the sensors the sensors are the devices which convert a physical quantity into a electrical one and we have all the kind of sensors in the market so the basic definition of sensor is uh, it converts a physical quantity that can be any it can be a temperature it can be a humidity it can be a heat uh, anything you tell you just tell me uh, any physical quantity for every physical quantity we have to measure every physical quantity we have a sensor so basically sensor converts the physical quantities into the electrical quantities okay then comes a brain so we need a capability into these things to think like or function like a human brains for making the decisions for thinking on this situation so for that we can add the cpus that is or the microcontrollers and microprocessors we can program those microcontrollers and those microprocessors to work like as we want or as we program so once the program is done it will be able to take the decisions it will able to act like uh, uh, however uh, we have programmed it so the brain we can replace by microcontrollers and microprocessors and cpus basically then comes the arms or uh, uh, to act uh, like our hand and uh, leg we have the actuators the actuators uh, are the Uh, how we can define the actuators is it converts the electrical quantity into some uh, mechanical or uh, mechanical quantity uh, mechanical entity so uh, so actuators like motor uh, actuators like led so all uh, many different type of actuators are there which actually act at the uh, at the end node at the end node so uh, this is how uh, you can see with these three modules we can see uh, with the sensors uh, cpus or microcontrollers and processors and with the actuators we can make your device a smarter one so by adding by adding these three things into the any anything to it can be your chair it can be your a bottle it can be your jar it can be your book by if you add these three things it will be a smart object like a human okay plus it will require a, a network facility also for or the wifi module or uh, for to connect to connect it to the internet we need one more module but these are the basic things we need to make that uh, object a smarter then uh, this is uh, this is the architecture stack it's more uh, technical i don't want to uh, get you into uh, more into the technical part i just want you all to uh, uh, understand uh, what is the iot what is its scope and uh, what uh, what applications and what projects you can do with this so uh, the uh, first layer is uh, sensors with the uh, sensors and boards all the hardware things are at the bottom layer physical layer 
and after that we have the device hub and gateways device management then uh, data management then uh, api design and building api runtime management then comes the application layer and uh, application layer with the websites industry specific consoles mobile applications also it all uh, requires uh, um, protocol stacks uh, software protocol stack and security layer also so uh, these are the iot protocols required so uh, like hardware we also need a software uh, support for making the things smarter or building the iot applications so uh, these are uh, the different protocols for the different layers like link layer we have uh, we can use means to connect your device to the internet we can use uh, these are the uh, link layer protocols we can use ethernet we can use wifi wimax wipan or we can use 2g 3g networks also then in network layer we have uh, ipv6 ipv4 and six low pan layers in transport layer we have uh, tcp and uh, udp protocols application layer we have different protocols like http mqtt uh, message queue telemetry transport coep uh, content addressable protocol xmpp amqp web sockets so all this uh, things you need to study uh, before uh, starting the develop uh, before starting the development of iot applications so we need to think of uh, this part also for your application what application if for example if you are developing some uh, application and uh, then in application layer what protocol is uh, suitable for for example for home automation for home automation we need to uh, choose a different type of protocols in application layer for the industrial application we need to choose different kind of uh, industrial application layer protocols so all these things we need to uh, decide first before starting the development of you know, iot based application so this this all all technology technicalities uh, you can you are going to uh, learn in the uh, uh, in actual syllabus okay then uh, unlocking the massive potentials of iot uh, sir how much time i have it's 254 uh madam uh, it's uh, from to uh, you are still uh, at the max 20 minutes okay sir at the max 20 minutes. okay so unlocking the massive potentials of iot so uh, it uh, it gives the improved performance into the devices and applications it create innovative services uh, it reduces the cost uh, in different perspective i'll say then uh, so one time cost will be obviously higher but uh, it will reduce the cost in uh, you know, cost and efforts in uh, further use then uh, it will it is creating a new uh, revenue stream so these are the uh, massive potentials of iot technology then uh, if you ask me for uh, in which field or uh, in which field uh, we can uh, develop the iot application so uh, these are the different sectors uh, there is no specific uh, sector uh, where only you can so in every sector you can have uh, or you can replace uh, the uh, solutions or uh, problems with the iot uh, iot enabled uh, uh, facilities like in consumer sector the smart home control lightning security uh, then optimized energy use and maintenance in retail sector uh, the product tracking inventory control focused marketing already we are experiencing it uh, the focused marketing uh, then uh, medical uh like uh, wearable devices implanted devices telehealth services then uh in military 
the resource allocation, threat analysis, troop monitoring can be done with the IoT. In uh, industry, I'll say already the industries accepted this uh, IoT technology with the open arms. They have already started uh, uh, replacing their older, uh, older machines and older platforms with the industry 4.0 and uh, so uh, the use of uh, IoT is uh, started uh, very extensively already in the industries. So for the like smart meters, we are out uh, sensing manufacturing control, climate control. Uh, then in the automotive industry, like parking, uh, traffic flow, anti-theft location, in environmental, like space, species tracking, weather prediction, resource management, then uh, agriculture in agriculture also we can develop a lot many applications like uh, crop management uh, smart smart irrigation system soil analysis system so uh, see every every sector there are uh, opportunities we can uh, give the iot based solution uh, in every sector so Basically, uh, basically, again, I want to uh, make one uh, statement that uh, IoT uh, is not only a technology, but it is a business model. Because uh, see, uh, why, why we are uh, adding the why we are adding the smartness into the things like, for example, uh, one company is uh, uh, selling a simple machine, simple washing machine with a simple, uh, simple functions or simple three cycles like soak, wash and spin. And another company is uh, selling the washing machine, which is a smart washing machine, which is having the IoT support with the, uh, which is having its own app. Uh, it is having the app control and uh, it is cust it is having the customized programming so uh, whose sale will be higher whose sale will be higher because uh, nowadays everyone is having the cell phones so uh, that is not a question everyone is having a internet connectivity on the cell phone so uh, who will get a, a huge uh, market uh, who will get the uh, huge sale the first one or second one Uh, in chat box, someone asked the question. Yes, we will take the question, uh, question answer session at the last for five minutes. Okay, first answer my this question. Which washing machine you will buy? You will prefer to buy? The first one, uh, simple with the uh, a simple function, uh, a simple or the basic uh, task of a washing machine or the second one with uh, having the IoT support. Obviously second, right? So uh, this is what, uh, that's why I made that statement that it is, a, IoT is a business model with the tech. It's a combination of technology and it's a business model basically. Okay. So uh, let's uh, fastly, I would uh, like to discuss few applications, IoT applications. So uh, intelligent home. So uh, how, uh, how your home can be an intelligence. Just imagine, uh, or you can see here in the PPT on a slide, uh, everything like your lights, uh, the speakers which are there in your home, window shades, laptops, TV, tablets, then exterior lightning, your uh, garage door, park garage door, or your parking parking lights your TVs, your speakers, your refrigerator, then uh, alarms, uh, your uh, garden irrigation system, uh, everything, your power meter, everything is connected to your cell phone. 
and you can control everything from your cell phone. So uh, this is how we can have the smart home or the intelligent home system. Just imagine the uh, home where uh, you enter and you can uh, open the door lock from your mobile itself and you can enter and once you enter uh, the sensor which is uh, there at the uh, your uh, your living room uh, it will identify your presence your uh, presence that uh, with the help of a sensor like a passive infrared sensor it identifies the human body and it will automatically turn on the lights then once you enter into the room and uh, if it is a, a hot outside and if it your ac will identify the movement and it will identify your body temperature and be, accordingly it will set the room temperature and cool or heat the room so uh, this this can happen with the iot so this is a smart home or the intelligent home application uh, you can develop then uh, this is second one that is a uh, neo jar the i'm going to show you the uh, video for this this is the product which is available on amazon also it is a neo smart jar it look like a jar but it thinks like you it it thinks like us so uh, this neo jar is having the features like it is uh, it is having the real time nutrition tracking it is having the consumption tracking it is having the fitness sync it is having uh, recipes uh, recipes diaries it is having the freshness alerts and it is uh, it is also zero uh, touch shopping enabled so uh, this is a simple jar and the smartness is added to this jar uh, with the iot so Uh, i'm going to show you the video for this then we will discuss about its uh, actual uh, structure or here you can see also the wireless charging is there on a slide you can see wireless charging is there bluetooth and sensors are there load cell is there it is for weighing uh, and a detachable base is there then uh, led light ring is there so this is not just a storage jar but this is a smart jar which can think like you it can uh, it can uh, give you the nutrition con nutritional contents uh, of whatever ingredient ingredient you are storing in that jar then it also do the consumption tracking if the quantity of ingredient get reduced it will alert you that the intrate quantity is less also it is having the fitness sync so it will uh, tell you uh, it will tell you the uh, what kind of proteins or what kind of nutrients you are getting out of the ingredient which you have stored in that jar then it will tell you the different uh, recipes it will suggest you the different recipes you can make out of that ingredient also uh, it will uh, give you the freshness alert if uh, you are storing some ingredient for the longer time and uh, then it will also uh, alert you that uh, this is not good for eating now then zero zero touch shopping means uh, it is like uh, once uh, the ingredient your jar get gets empty then automatically already you you might might have been uh, knowing that the uh, e markets are started where directly you can uh, place the order uh, from the mobile phones and you will get your groceries at the home so uh, zero touch shopping that here that is also not needed so automatically it will send the alert uh, to the shop uh, whose details you have added and the shop will deliver that uh, that ingredient to your doorstep so these are the features uh, i hope you are able to imagine uh, you know what i'm going uh, i'm telling you so uh, all the things which we do now this jar can do that yes or no yes someone uh, posted the in chat box that by adding alexa home setup yes alexa is nothing but the iot application uh 
Okay. Okay. So uh, this is uh, one application that is a Neo Smart Jar, and you can search on uh, uh, you can search for this project. It is there in the market. Then uh, Smart Egg Tray. Uh, it is an egg minder sink uh, which is having a sink with the, your uh, smartphone to tell you how many eggs you have uh, got at your home and uh, when they are going to be a uh, bad eggs. So. Uh, it is a small uh, device a kitchen device uh, is a sm small egg tray uh, whose name is egg minder this this product is also available on the amazon so uh, where you can store your eggs but this egg uh, tray is having the connectivity it is having its inbuilt app uh, so you can install that app on your mobile phones and you can connect uh, that there is a connectivity between that egg minder and your app and it will uh, show you on your phone screen screen how many eggs are there it will identify you if uh, egg gets uh, rotten uh, by the different sensors uh, so with the with this you can uh, track uh, you can keep a track of your egg tray then a uh, smart washing machine as uh, as i uh, said uh, if company is uh, providing you uh, all the uh, app connectivity to your washing machine what you can do is by before leaving the office you can uh, your washing machine is connected to the internet every uh, so you can just uh, start your machine from your mobile phone by sitting in the office you can start your washing machine you can start uh, schedule your uh, cycles for uh, cloth cleanings so this smart uh, this is the smart aquelitis is the first uh, indesit company uh, washing machine which is designed to be uh, integrated uh, in the smart ecosystem and covering a wide range of uh, use cases so uh, this is uh, possible with the iot then uh, smart lighting uh, yes uh, so uh, recently uh, i have purchased mi uh, smart bulb uh, which is having uh, you can see it uh, it is available uh, online or i think it is available in the shops also mi smart bulb it is having the uh, wifi connectivity and bluetooth connectivity and uh, from my mobile phone it is having the mi uh, app and from my mobile phone i can turn on and turn off it is not like remote it is different so uh, it's not uh, like a remote from mi app i can change the shades of bulb from my mobile from uh, i can uh, select a theme like uh, evening theme like birth birthday theme and uh, i can make that environment from that bulb by just from the app then uh, yes these are the uh, these are the uh, facilities they have provided in when i have purchased that uh, its cost was 1100 so uh, this is a smart bulb uh, which are there in the market these are the iot technologies smart ac um, i think no need to explain already uh, same like a washing machine everything you can control from uh, from any uh, means you if your ac is in the home but you can control it from any point of uh, from uh, any point in the world from your because it is connected it to the internet smart weather station uh, smart slow cooker i am going little fast because i think i need to wind up so uh, smart slow cookers so these also uh, the different uh, smart cookers are there um, on the uh, different e-commerce sites uh, you can see uh, so this smart cooker is also having its uh, own app from where you can simply uh, based on the you know, different recipes you can cook in this and you just need to select uh, select the program uh, in one cooker which i have seen uh, its cost was around 12 12000 and it is having 360 different kind of recipes just you need to select the program and it will automatically set everything timing temperature 
everything it will automatically set so uh, this is a kind of uh, kitchen applications which are iot enabled then uh, smart garbage cans uh, like uh, if the can gets full automatically it will notify or it will send a message to the municipality servant so that he can connect collect, he can come and collect uh, empty the garbage uh, can so uh, this can be application so uh, just let me share the okay i'll uh, show it at the end uh, i just want to show you one product video so uh, yes we have di di discussed all these applications i hope now uh, it is clear that how what kind of uh, applications or what kind of products we can uh, develop with this uh, technology but for that what knowledge you need or uh, what subjects you need to study the related subjects so for iot you need to have a knowledge of hardware devices communication technology protocols for iot software and cloud platforms that's the reason this subject is uh, uh, there in uh, for entc for IO, for it as well as for the computer science so implementing smart objects so different uh, nowadays this is uh, developing the applications of products is becoming a very easy why because in the market uh, the many uh, development boards are there like uh, audino uno is there raspberry is there intel uh, galileo is there beagle bone is there and many versions of uh, audino and raspberry pi are there so these are the developing boards they are ready to use you just need to interface the sensors and actuators to them everything is on chip everything is on chip the usb support is there lan lan connectivity port is there then uh, wifi is there on uh, audino there is no wifi but on its uh, other version that is node mcu the wifi is also there then uh, in the raspberry pi you have everything like ethernet uh, ethernet connectivity is also there so these are the developing boards which are making the use of or which is making the uh, application development easier then uh, we need to do the board connections and Uh, as i said uh, for every for measuring every physical quantity there is a sensor like uh, optical sensor is there ambient light sensor is there which can replace our vision then acceleration or tilt sensor is there uh, electric magnetic sensor is there then water level sensors are there force load measurement sensors are there flow measurement sensor is there proximity or position measurement sensor is there then uh, then temperature measurement humidity moisture uh, sound sensors are there even the chemical uh, like uh, for the gas leakage uh, we have mqt sensor uh, mq2 sensor which can uh, identify the leakage it, it can identify the co2 uh, that all the toxic gases it can identify so all these kind of sensors are, are available in the market so uh, these are the sensors even these all these all sensors we have in our labs like uh, you can see here on this slide uh, you just have a look on these sensors okay then what are the challenges in iot so the challenges are compatibility of uh, different devices for example um, maybe uh, one uh, or maybe one protocol is uh, 
the kind of different protocols or kind of different uh, rules set of rules uh, which are used by the different connecting uh, models they are not uh, they are not uh, what we can say uh, interoperable so compatibility is the main concern or the challenge then connectivity uh, uh, you can understand that then uh, power management so we are uh, trying to make every object smart means we are adding the microcontroller unit or microprocessor unit we are adding sensors we are adding actuators means all they need a power right so uh, so for that purpose the power management is also a big challenge then the very main uh, challenge is privacy and security as the every device is uh, even our household uh, application appliances or uh, everything is uh, connected to the internet so every bit of information is there on the internet so you know, privacy and security is the uh, is, is is the entirely uh, uh, different uh, different topic and uh, the many companies are working on it rigorously and uh, the main challenge is as we are replacing the uh, humans by the machines uh, job cuts will be there so that is a big hurdle so uh, that is uh, from my side uh, sir uh, do i have a time to share the video and for question answers how much time requirement for video sir two uh, two sec uh, uh, one two two minutes okay. and that question answer okay okay so i would like to show you this uh, neo jar video uh, sir uh, is it visible and uh, audio no madam uh, video is visible or not not okay okay just now sir sir no not no screen share of uh yes sir uh, ma'am tumhe ppt ji share ke liye na ki off kara ki video ji uh, window share kar ke liye sir me ppt close ke liye acha kare tum to nahi hai just a minute par the share screen me jaun hai na video ch link kar share screen madhe video ja window madhe hai ki window se kar hello sir ha ata sir ha me share screen no वीडियो स्टार्ट करावा लगे का हेलो एक मिनिट Yeah, I'll share to my entire screen now. So my screen is visible now. Uh, yes, ma'am. The Zoom meeting is visible. Okay, fine. Uh, so. Ha, yes, it's now. Ah, uh, 
Jars have been around. Yes, yes, yes. Video uh, sound? Video sound? Yes, yes, yes. Sound. Okay, for a long time. We store food in them, eat out of them. There are times when we can't remember what's in them or how fresh it is. All in all, jars haven't changed that much from when they were first made. So imagine a jar that's unlike anything you've seen before. Say hello to Neo, the world's first smart jar. Hi, I'm Madhuri and this is Neo. Even today, we don't always know what's in our pantry. It's really hard to know how healthy we are eating or to track nutrition. Not to mention how annoying it is when things run out. So at Ski Labs, we created Neo, a smart jar that brings our kitchen into the connected world. Neo is built with sensors and Bluetooth connectivity. Configure it once and Neo remembers what you have and how much of it. Wondering what to make for dinner? That's easy. Our app gets recipes based on ingredients you already have. So you can choose to make whatever you like from hundreds of delicious choices. If you're expecting company, Neo can automatically adjust the recipe proportions to any number of people, so you'll get the perfect taste every single time. Neo also keeps track of nutrition for you, be it one jar or a bunch of them. It gives real-time data on calories, protein, carbs and fat. You can keep track of what's important to you over time and even sync it with fitness devices. You'll never run out of anything. Azure Touch Shopping adds items right in time to your mobile shopping list and restocks them for you from your favorite online stores. Neo also keeps track of best before dates so you never have to guess or compromise on the freshness. Neo is engineered with BPA-free plastic so it's really food safe. It has an airtight lid, it works in the fridge, goes into the dishwasher and charges wirelessly. The light ring at the base provides visual feedback for all your actions. In the last seven months, we've been working really hard to bring the right design and technology together to create the smart jar. After tons of research and numerous prototypes, in January, we successfully introduced NEO at the Consumer Electronics Show. And now, we need your help to take NEO to the next level. Creating next-generation kitchenware is fun, but it's also no small task. We have to scale our hardware to an efficient price point, get the tooling necessary to build our jars, and put the final touches on our software and app development. Your support will be a big part of bringing NEO to life and revolutionizing the kitchen into a truly connected heart of the home. We thank you for your support and welcome you on board this journey. Okay. Uh, so, uh, now the session is open for uh, question and answer. Dear okay. students, do you have any question? Please add it. Uh, add there, it. Wa there was a one question uh, I have seen in the chat box. Yes. Uh, is IoT is common subject to all? I mean, uh, IT students also have this subject and when this subject is get added to the our syllabus, can you please answer? Okay. Yes, uh, this subject is there for ENTC. I know uh, for final year ENTC students, it's an elective subject and we are uh, offering this subject since last three years. Uh, for IT and comp, I don't have an idea about whether it is a uh, elective subject or uh, it is a compulsory subject, but it is there in computer and IT. And uh, I was and and now university has started the honor minor degree course. So uh, that is all uh, the uh, different uh, means you can uh, choose it in third year, not now. Uh, third year and final year total four semester. 
uh, you can uh, opt for this course and uh, you will get a different honor degree uh, in the subject iot for entc computer and it students no for first year this subject is not there uh hello madam ha yes, sir uh as time is running uh okay. can sure, sir 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 uh i'm done with my presentation so uh, you can conclude sir okay thank you so much madam uh, for taking out time for your busy schedule your session will definitely help student so on behalf of first year department and student i uh, extend my sincere gratitude toward you thank you ma'am thank you sir okay uh, so students uh, next session will be from uh, kadbe sir regarding external examination conducted uh, from savitrabai phule uh, pune uh, university so kadbe sir is working as an assistant professor in entc department he has completed his uh, b graduation degree in entc and mtech that is post graduation in electronics their area of research is speech and video signal processing sir has uh, industrial experience of 2 years and teaching experience of 8 years sir has reviewed uh, reviewer and member of editorial board for various uh, international journals and conferences also sir has life member of mie iet and iest he has uh, reviewed 78 peer international journals and conference papers premanand sir attended various workshop on vlsi communication embedded system at government government institute iit nit and various private institute presently sir is working as an assistant professor and ceo in entc department thank you over to you sir okay so good afternoon all now we'll see the different spppu examinations which are there in our syllabus so for first year to final year fe to be there are total four years and eight semester and each for each of the semester you have to ap apply for the examination and you are appearing for examination uh, like in sem examination oral practical term work theory that is in sem examination so these are uh, the other heads for which you are applying and you are appearing for those examination so i will tell you about how to file your uh, profile on the sppu website for submitting the exam forms so creating exam form submission profile for all the four years you have to create your profile at once only that is in the first year and then on the subsequent year and this year also we have to apply for the examination or appearing for the examination so for that first you have to open a web browser for that you will type there the url like 
एच टी टी पी कोलन स्लैश स्लैश एग्जाम डॉट यूनी पुणे डॉट ए सी डॉट इन सो आफ्टर दैट दिस पेज विल कम ऑन योर वेब ब्राउजर यू हेव टू सिलेक्ट हियर दी एग्जाम फॉर्म ऑनलाइन क्लिक हियर ऑन दी एग्जाम फॉर्म ऑनलाइन टैग so first you will open the web browser uh, and you can type the url as let's say http colon exam.nipune.ac.in and after that this new screen will appear on this huh? sir ppt this sab nahi hai ek minute check kar do this tak ओके सो whenever you are going to register for your exam form submission or you have to register for the profile first you have to open the web browser and type the url as http colon slash slash exam dot dot unipune dot ac dot in then the new screen will be available here like this exam dot unipune dot ac dot in in this you have to switch over to the exam forms online tab so after clicking this tab the new window will appear after scrolling down the window you are having now eight excuse different links excuse me sir sorry yes yes sir. but your screen is not visible sir your screen is visible but uh, put it in a presentation mode or reshare your screen Uh, sir can you please uh, click on the presentation Sir, we can start your presentation. okay this screen will be available now so you have to click on the exam form online button tab here after that this new window will appear there are different link whenever you scroll down so at that time there are different links available you can click on any one link for example you can click here on link number let's say 2 after clicking here the new page will appear where you can now go for online exam form so you can log in here after login so it will ask you for the different option like first you want to create the account then uh, you can log in here 
so first you have to create your own account so for that click on the create account the new screen will appear here now you have to click on this nationality box and select the first option that is nationality as indian then enter your aadhar number after that you have to enter the student name so student name must be entered just similar as your previous mark sheet that is uh, the class 12 mark sheet after that you have to write here the mail id and the mobile number now whatever mail id and mobile number you are providing that will be on your profile for all the four years you cannot change this mail and mobile number so before writing this make sure that this mobile number and email id will be with you for uh, next four years after this you can click on verify email and mobile number so after that the new screen will appear where you may get the otp on email as well as on mobile so both otps will be available on your site you can click on close button now whatever otp that is available on email you can type here on the email box and then in mobile otp you can type here mobile otp so that all the mail and mobile will get verified then you can select the password again you have to remember this password for four years or eight semesters so you can choose your password and uh, same password you have to write here but while choosing the password you have to be confirm that you can use only alphabet and numer uh, numbers that means you can't use the special characters so with the combination of 6 to 10 characters you can make the password and the same password you have to type here then write this captcha in the captcha box and after that click on the create account once you click on the create account your account will be created and now you are able to log in on the your, on your account so here again you can go to the login page in login you can write, select here login by mobile number you can or uh, the email id there are number of options are there so you can select your mobile number write your mobile number and the password after write, writing the captcha here press on login button and now your account will start now next step is to enroll for your new course as you are the first year students so you can enroll for the new course as fe 2019 pattern course so first click on this new course enrollment and now your account is created successfully this message displays so click on this close button after that you have to fill all your information in all the fields given on this page so you must be careful while filling this information so this may include your student type that is new or existing obviously you are the new student so you can click here new and then here college department pun code you have to enter our college department phone code is cegp 011510 then you have to select the course type course admission for year then medium of instruction and all the instruction whatever available on that particular page after that this after submit button you are having this window here click on the close button then you have to enter the other information like email mobile number gender date of birth nationality aadhar card number so on and so forth so all this information you have to enter carefully on this page after this you have to apply uh, upload your photograph so the photograph of the size must not be greater than 300 kb so if it is greater you have to compress that photo and save it on your hard disk or on, on the computer and check that whether the size is not exceeding 300 kb same here you have to upload your signature again signature size should be less than that of 50 kb after that you can fill this data and finally you have to press on the save button so once you press on the save button your registration part is now over 
and now you are eligible for filling the application of uh, the examination or appearing for the examination so next step is exam form submission again you have to go to the same link that is http colon slash slash exam dot unipune dot ac dot in slash after that again you have to click on the exam form online tab the next screen will appear again you can select any one link link one link to or any other link then uh, then uh, you can click on online exam form login button next click on this login tab after clicking on this login tab again it will be asked that how you want to login that is login by email id mobile number aadhar or passport number so you can select here email id or mobile number whatever you want to and after that you have to write the password here then by writing captcha you can login in the exam form so once you login all the information like here whatever you had selected that will be appearing on this page automatically now for first year the prn number that is permanent registration number will not be Uh, given to you by university and eligibility number is also not provided so once your registration at sppu as a student get confirmed at that time you will be having your eligibility number and prn number up to that there is no need to enter this prn number and eligibility number then you have to click on this exam form tab after clicking again you have uh, the option that new or existing student type so you can select the new student type and then the new screen will appear that is online exam form click on proceed button so after clicking on the proceed button this window will occur here two options are there out of this the second option you have to select click on this circle or box check box and then click on this uh, new apply online or new application after that the new application will give you this all information whatever you have filled at the time of registration click on the next button once you click on the next button new window will appear it will give you an option to select the branch for which you want to appear here you have to select fe 2019 pattern uh, for your examination after selecting this 2019 pattern all the subject to which you are going to appear they will appear on your screen and whatever the subject head for which whether it may be theory in same term work practical oral or any other type grade type is there so that will be available for checking or unchecking then you have to select that as per the university syllabus you have to first refer the university syllabus for that you can go on unipune.ac.in and in syllabi tab you can have your syllabus of fe 2019 pattern and if there is any audit course you can you have to select from this audit course tab and uh, after selecting you have to press the submit button so after pressing this submit button now you are successfully registered for the examination to be appeared in let's say which is starting from next month maybe so the exam form had already been started for your batch you can start filling your examination from today onwards so any doubt is there you can write the mail to ceo@vpkbit.org so any doubt to anybody you can write in chat box so exam form filling process is started from let's say yesterday you can start filling your examination obviously this ppt is will be sent to you uh, from the fe coordinator so from my side it is all done if any doubt is there you can type or else
you can proceed to next speaker okay. thank you sir thank you so much for okay, taking out time from your busy schedule your session will definitely help students for uh, filling uh, sppu exam form so on behalf of first year department and student i extend my sincere gratitude toward you thank you sir thank you okay okay now next session will be conducted by gauri madam gauri madam is working as an assistant professor in first year department madam has completed msc in mathematics madam has qualified net set and having teaching experience of 30 years madam has scored 6th rank in bsc in savitribai phule pune university received gold certificate in nptel examination for course developing soft skills and personality with 91 percentage and also she has won the national level prize in iist srinivasa ramanujan mathematical competition in 2014 and 15 over to you madam thank you kaustub sir for my nice introduction i also thank you uh, kadbe sir for explaining the detailed procedure how to fill the examination form so uh, after this internal uh, examination session sir explain what is the uh, how to fill university examination and how to create your uh, profile on exam portal okay so you have to create its profile and it is for one times okay so now i come to internal examination so first of all good afternoon to all i hope all of you enjoying this session yes so i know it is a little bit hectic schedule for you but still uh, you are listening very good uh, speakers from morning like shastri sir uh, explain so many nice things how to uh, face examination and all these things also nitwe sir uh, told you many nice tips for yoga and some breathing exercise okay so after that sonal madam also give you nice talk and iot se session so now i come internal examination so before this internal examination i want to mention what is the purpose of examination okay so what do you think you type first what is the purpose of examination yes any student so to assess or evaluate the students what they learn in their particular subject in that particular semester it is one purpose then to improve the knowledge and skill of the student then it also promotes the competition among the students and due to this competition you learn more more and more due to this examination right then also it is main component to measure your academic performance right and this academic performance is very very important right now just i want to share with you on which basis you will get admission to this college yes anybody can type in chat box on which basis you get admission in this college jhople nahi na sagle yes so definitely it is on the basis of marks right on the basis of marks yes cet marks sahil said cet marks right so it is one parameter to measure your academic performance and to get admission into engineering or medical college 
yes definitely after this four year after this b course you are pursuing higher education or you uh, apply for job so at that time also this academic performance is important along with this your uh, technical skill and communication skill academic performance is also important so see suppose simple some company is there and uh, for recruitment and there are only 50 post and number of applications suppose they received 1000 so first parameter is they shortlist the candidate and criteria is throughout first class so here is also this academic performance is important right so while applying job uh, examination is not that much important but not we cannot ignore also it have importance and it is major your academic performance okay tumhi class madhe kiti hushar asa kiwa technical madhe kiti hushar asa tumcha academic performance tumcha mark sheet varti disto aplya chehra varun kiwa apan kai rahto tyacha varun aple talent aplyatle apla performance apan sangu shakat nahi apla academic performance apla mark sheet varti asto barobar so the for this point of view examination sir important okay and internal examination so why internal examinations are important i told you so uh, it is beneficial for you to practice for exam session so when you appear for final examination so before that you can practice then also it is <laughs> it is helpful to improve your performance and also it has internal examination has weightage in term work so if you have to you have to pass all the internal examination and all internal examination marks are considered in the term work okay so internal examinations are also important now next i will show discuss what are the examinations so first types of internal examination so we are conducting basic test for mathematics sometime for english so basic test are there then concept test are there mcq it is not uh, for all subject but some subject teacher might conduct conduct the concept test to check the knowledge after teaching the some particular topic then for all students we plan unit test so there are two unit test which are either mcq or theory it depend upon the situation you are appearing for online examination or offline examination then some particular teacher might be conduct practice test for difficult subject or some difficult topic is there so for practice purpose some teacher might be con conduct practice test also in class and prelim exam is there before your final examination okay so these are the types of internal examinations now this is tentative plan for our internal examination so there are two unit test and one prelim examination is there so this test type uh test type is there so either unit test are depend upon the situation if there is offline examination and students are coming in college then we are conducting might be theory examination if online session is there then exams are on online mode and mcq examination and at that time we decide test is are either 25 marks or 30 marks so very soon i will communicate you final date for this examination now for syllabus for unit test 1 is unit number 1 and 2 then syllabus for unit test 2 is 3 and 4 and for prelim examination either last two units or sometimes we conduct on the last four units okay so this is the internal examination i already discuss so we conduct first unit test before insem examination so insem exam is again syllabus is unit number 1 and 2 so we conduct unit test 1 before insem examination so you get idea about insem examination and for practice purpose to help Uh, to improve your performance in insem exam we conduct unit test 1 then we conduct unit test 2 on unit 3 and 4 after insem examination and after completing these two units and then we conduct prelim exam 
at the end of semester okay and before the end semester examination so now uh, due to this pandemic situation normally we conduct it is centrally and theory exam is there but now due to this pandemic situation exam might be on online mode it might be google form or some microsoft form is there or some theory question paper is there so we upload the theory question on google classroom and you have to uh, uh, solve that questions and you have to upload the answer sheet on the google classroom so this might be happen and offline mode there is on paper test is there it is either class wise or centrally we conduct this test so these are the modes and tools for the examination okay so after this examination we display the marks and we prepare result analysis so in the result analysis it is subject wise then uh, class wise also division wise we prepare the subject analysis and overall and at that time we uh, prepare the list of toppers and we display the names of toppers on notice board as well as we appreciate the students on our whatsapp group also those who are division wise topper subject wise topper we also appreciate students in classroom also we go in class and we give some token of love some small gift like as a pen cadbury and we appreciate the students who score good marks in internal examination unit test or class test so it uh, help to motivate the student and improve their performance also you see in the principal address we appreciate our uh, university toppers at the time of principal address and parents meet okay so it is our tradition to appreciate so in this way we display the name of toppers on notice board so this is the sample i display unit test one toppers so i want to highlight these things those students performing well so see here fe4 topper more he is again topper in unit test 1 from his class then from class 5 this savan saurav nigde anuraj and viraj raut these three students are also toppers from class 5 and if you see the list of university toppers uh, which already show you by sonone sir at the time of uh, principal address so the same students are there so definitely if you perform well in your internal examination it is very helpful to perform well in your final examination because what happen if you are study well for internal examination and if you write the exam internal examination you will get idea how to write the exam paper what is how to manage the time for which subject you require lots of time for which subject you require lots of preparation or revision for which subject and according to that you can perform in the final examination okay so we know that practice make man perfect okay so if you uh, perform well in internal examination definitely it reflect in the final examination so i request all the students to show your performance in internal examination definitely you can perform good in the final examination okay then we are not paying attention only towards our toppers we also pay attention our weak students so who are the weak students so those who score less marks in the examination so we conduct retest for the students who score less mark or fail in the unit test we also give some assignment for the students then we discuss their problems and reason why the student fail in that unit test what is the reason and if the student required we arrange the special guideline session for them we again some teachers for difficult subject revise some uh, important topic for this weak student okay so in this way we take care for our weak students now i will discuss the key factors for improve the performance in examination so how we study and how we perform well in the examination so first thing i uh, mention attendance and attention in class okay so suppose while 
you are studying some uh, subject specific subject and you are st study that specific topic if you attend that lecture with full attention so you can easily recall that concepts and you can easily understand the topic but if you didn't attend the lecture or if you didn't pay the attention then what happen yes tumhala kai samjat nahi sagla dokyavar na challe so when it happen if we are not attending the lectures or sessions and if we are not paying the attention see our subject is not simple like as a theory subject or some history or uh, social sociology like that okay so these are the technical subject and based on science and technology so you have to attend attend the class you have to understand the concept all the mechanism whatever is there okay so first thing you have to attend the all classes and with the full attention then second thing is basic concept must be clear uh, and fundamental knowledge of each subject suppose for example i am teaching mathematics and i teach the topic uh, how to find out the solution of differential equation so after some you understand very well how to find out the solution but after two steps the problem of finding solution of differential equation get convert into integration problem or sometimes derivative and if you are your integration you are not don't know the formula of integration how to find out the integration of that function then you cannot solve that problem further okay so this is simple example so for each and every subject fundamental knowledge is Uh, must be clear so if you think your basic is weak for some particular subject so now you have time you can recall revise the concepts you relearn the concept okay so again you revise all these things for examination also revision is important uh, revise or relearn the topic concepts okay then next perfection is also required if you have confusion suppose uh, example of integration of tan x so what is integration of tan x sec x or log of sec x always student having the confusion in that integration same thing in some physics topic or another subject also so whenever you study so perfection is always required otherwise you get confused and suppose i you lose your marks okay so and then for many topics practice is required for mathematics or for circuit diagram or you have to explain some uh, algorithm uh, programming it required practice so you have to take pen and paper and practice it solve that numerical examples so you can remember it easily otherwise what happened you take the notes and just you read two three times blindly and when you go to examination so totally you are blank mag barechda mula amala sangtat ki madam mi khup abhyas kela ta maths cha tumhala class madhe gela avti exam la kais nahi athavlo so why it happen because less of practice and how you study method is also important okay to tumhi ja kutla subject te tyacha varti tumcha abhyas chi paddhat pan depend ranare ani काही बऱ्याचशा सब्जेक्टसाठी तुम्हाला प्रॅक्टिस पण तेवढीच गरजेची एकदा वाचलं दोनदा वाचलं किंवा वाचून जमणार नाही बऱ्याचदा तुम्हाला यू हॅव टू टेक पेन अँड पेन्सिल अँड पेपर अँड यू हॅव टू प्रॅक्टिस इट सॉल्व टू थ्री थ्री टाइम्स अँड देन यू विल गेट कॉन्फिडन्स येस नाव आय कॅन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन आय कॅन सॉल्व दिस न्यूमरिकल आय कॅन ड्रॉ दिस फिगर राईट हाऊ यू इम्प्रूव्ह युअर परफॉर्मन्स इन एक्झामिनेशन सो फर्स्ट थिंग यू सेट युअर टार्गेट so uh, first thing everybody's target is all clear but all students should not keep the same target okay suppose i am very average student then my target is to all clear the subject and to get marks 60% okay so if i am average student then my target is 60% but if i am moderate student then i have to increase my target and i increase my target up to 75 to 80% right 
and if i am clever or i am bright student then my target must be 90 and 90% and above if you observe the cgpa or sgpa of the students topper students most of the students score above 9 point their score okay so set your target according to uh, you and if not setting target is enough so you have to plan how to study and for that you have to prepare the time table so from declaration of the exam date to exam times you have to count the days whatever the syllabus how many subjects are there and according to difficulty level of subject some students might be think that mathematics is easy for me for some students mathematics is difficult some student find out another subject b double is difficult so according to your choice or your level you have to prepare the time table and you have to follow that time table okay then you have to organize your study material so many times students don't have notes before one day before also of the examination and after that they become panic so well in advance you study you uh, manage your study material and i request prepare your own notes for the examination okay so it is better and uh, nowadays it is available in soft copy also uh, for many teachers are giving e content so you can use uh, youtube videos also or ppts shared uh, pdf files notes also so you must have all the notes with you before the examination then you have to practice and solve previous year question paper so you get idea which type of questions will ask and how to uh, how many marks weightage is given to that topic which topics are there important topics there is uh, definitely questions are there then sometimes for study you can use flow chart or diagram or you can draw the mind map also what is mind map so you can learn the concept on one page okay so suppose i am learning uh, types of matrices and again some operations are there so you can draw on one page the mind map of that and you can keep in mind all these things from one page so when you go for revision you write down there some shortcut keys are there to remember or recall the concept so automatically you can revise that topic on one page okay then not only hard work is important but smart work is required okay so don't uh, suppose you are thinking there is so you have less time so only you prepare uh, important or selected topics or otherwise and see the weightage is given to you sometimes what happen students study only unit number 1 and weightage is only 5 to 10 marks and rest of the topics they left okay so don't do like that so smart work is also important suppose some difficult subjects you cannot understand that concept at that time you can take the help from your teachers or your classmates friends for study and don't be panic at the time of examination okay so some students i saw they are very panic madam udya parva exam mai madha kai cha abhyas nahi jala they call and they told such statements are there so don't be panic and don't don't take stress also little bit stress is required for examination it is positive but don't take too much burden okay so these are the important uh, things to improve your performance and i hope you follow these things so set your target then you prepare your time table you organize your study material you practice old question papers you prepare your mind map i remember last year one student prepared mind map for chemistry and she uh, shared it on whatsapp group so many student take benefit okay so you can do also that then uh, for difficult subject or some student can take help you can group discussion also for some topics and don't be panic don't take any stress of examination okay so i want to give some uh, tips 
सो ऑलवेज बिलीव इन युअर सेल्फ स्वतः कभी अंडर एस्टिमेट कराए नहीं सो आई वॉन्ट टू रीड द कोट अ बर्ड इज सीटिंग ऑन द ट्री इज नेवर अफ्रेड ऑफ द ब्रांच ब्रेकिंग बिकॉज हिज ट्रस्ट इज नॉट ऑन द ब्रांच बट ऑन द इट्स विंग्स ओके सो वी ऑलवेज सी सम स्मॉल बर्ड इज देयर एंड ही इज सीटिंग ऑन द ब्रांच सो ही डोंट ऑलवेज थिंक अबाउट द अफ्रेड और थिंक अबाउट द breaking of the branch why because he trust on his own wings okay so you also always live in this way always believe in yourself asa kadhi vichar karaycha nahi ki ha subject difficult hai engineering avgad hai mala jamnar nahi sagya goshti halu halu yet ase pratyek da je ekhadi gosht aplyala accept learn karta yena nahi okay so first always believes in yourself then regularity is always required if you see these toppers or uh, university toppers so they are not perform on only one single day they attend all classes they perform well from each and every class test unit test they study every day so success is small efforts repeated day in day out okay so dar roz thoda thoda abhyas kela tar aplyala burden nahi yena and you can achieve the success okay then motivate yourself so push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you and specifically for examination you have to do study your own well, exam madhe madha mitra hushar hai tyacha upyog nahi teachers majhe relative hai there is no use okay so you put yourself push yourself and always motivate yourself motivate yourself okay then do it now okay so we know that kal kare so aaj aaj kare so ab udya karu parva karu nantar kad tari bagu asa na karta vel cha vel apan abhyas kela tar fayda honar e i always told students jara thoda sa jast abhyas na kela tar double abhyas karava lagto how if you fail in that subject then you have to appear once again or two times for the examination right so if you avoid these things you have to do the study regularly okay so with this i want to stop my session okay so i request all students to give your uh, 100% and perform well in your upcoming semester in all examination okay so if you have any doubt any question ask me otherwise we will stop yes students those who have question they can ask question how to buy a formula method for study so we will take session uh, how to learn formula shortcut method uh, in uh, the session basics of mathematics after this induction pro, uh, uh, program yes i will share the video on youtube okay and we will inform you when you have to fill the online registration form okay so thank you okay thank you so much students for listening this uh, heavy uh, day also i want to thank uh, gauri madam for taking out time from your busy schedule your session will definitely help students and encourage in preparation so on behalf of all students and first year department i love, i extend my sincere gratitude to our madam for this information informative lecture thank you now students you can uh, leave this session and join uh, class teacher interaction session okay thank you